let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. That works too. Come on. Thank you. Here we go. The chat here, the chat there, the timer, and uh, notifications have to be turned off. Here we go. Bye increase the volume yes I have so mm, this has to be off as well so looks like we are all set everything seems to be working Whew. that's uh, quite hot to yet all right hello and welcome everyone here is Andy here is our bonfire and it's burning in farthest frontier again. Again, my friends, we are back to the wonderful game which got its most recent update just a few days ago, a couple of days ago. Well, in fact, there were two updates, first 0.9.2 and then immediately after, I guess, a hotfix 0.9.2a. Uh, and I'm going to pick lowland lakes, map size medium, pacifist mode, and about settings we shall go uh, with lots of villagers in the beginning, about melodies, I'll just keep it a trailblazer, wildlife, um, Trailblazer, well, raiders don't matter because we, we have pacifist mode. So, yeah, I think I know uh, the the name of the the name of the village is gonna be, ooh, um, Nah, it's uh, hmm. I haven't thought about it, and I should have. I should have thought. Um, let's think. I just I was thinking about Gose Berg. Gose is my theory type of beer. Mm. Well, technically, April begins, so Aprilberg. Mm. What kind of suffixes can we use? Uh, April Yarsk. Yeah. Mm. April, April. Mm -hmm. April borrow. April borrow. April town. April town. I'm gonna go with April town. Yes, that's that's the name for the future streams. We're going to be building a town, which is going to be April town. April is a month when I have my birthday also on the 8th. But I think um, after my birthday, we shall be playing a different game already. Uh, Planet Crafter, which will be released on the 10th of April. Uh, but before that happens, we have a 
full more than a week of potential streaming of farthest frontier well i know from my experience that it takes what like uh, three four streams to build the complete town hmm so a huge water territory we have here and um, again some water and not a single mountain should i mm, don't remember what were my previous uh, name aylberg 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 rywit arcadia aylberg and ah cheese bagel here is my cheese bagel don't remember whether cheese bagel was built in uh, on a, on a lake map or on the standard map. Do we even want... Uh, mm, I don't know. Honestly, the first thing... In, in, in past, uh, when I was planning a new settlement, I thought about a... Um, this alpine area with, with lots of mountains maybe i should go but that option have i just no i thought the game crashed but uh, it just showed me this glitch with with hotkeys by the way hotkeys let me check the the controls where are they display dynamic key binds mm, maybe general inclusion highlight enabled highlight villagers that are obscured behind objects no that's not um, maybe it's uh, supposed to be set within the game so arid highlands Rich in mineral deposits, alpine valleys, conifer forests interspersed with lakes and occasional meadows. Will be available for time right for planting crops, alpine valleys. Mm. Highlands. Plains, dry grassland and brush, but few forests and lower mineral resources. Maybe plains. I want to Doomstown. Wow, why Doomstown? No, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, plains. Uh, the settings are all right. Uh, let me. April town let me see how that will look yeah it's the first stream is always full of me trying to roll the best setup for my map and um, you know you know my habit of doing that so if you are watching the recording you can I'm sure skip like 10 20 minutes easily I'll try to be faster, surely, but I cannot promise anything. As I I prefer to be really diligent. Okay, here we go. We have a plain area with fish and some water. Well, with some water and some fish in the first place. And no mountain, which makes me irritated immediately as I would love to have a mountain yeah it's just a boring place planes are boring very very boring on the other hand mountains would be too intense so maybe I should go for idyllic valley and uh, Amherst no april town pacifist mode advanced settings ah of course pioneer it's good that i switched yeah 
let's go let's go and see what this gives us every time i try to go for some special map and i think i end up using idyllic valley Yeah, this tea is not bad. Not wonderful, but not bad. Should put it on the radiator. Keep the heat inside the cup. The mug. So, a lake. That's good news. A hill. Not bad. And uh, no mountain. No mountain. That's unpleasant. Let's re-roll the map. So, just remind you, we aim at coal and sand and clay and underground stones. Um, stone deposit. Gold is not necessary. Um, we also must have medicinal roots and we must have some um, willow and uh, uh -huh, I see. I'm not going to introduce bridges. I so want bridges in the game. Now, this is a fine looking map, quite interesting, but the geography of the lake is horrible because it will literally divide me into... I mean, it's it's going to be very inconvenient. Um, hmm. So... What do we have? But let me just inspect the map because that is the most important thing. So there is coal, which is not endless. There is also stone and again coal, right? No, it's the same. It's the same deposit that I saw. No, it's not the same deposit, is it? It's a different one. Then endless iron deposit, which is not surprising. Uh, sand, not infinite. I see no clay yet. No, I see clay now. Mm. Fish. Just one source of clay. Again, unlimited gold. Unlimited gold. Sand is somewhere here. That's because it's here. And here, okay, there is another sand pit. What about clay? Maybe it's somewhere hidden in the fog. Ah, there are two sources of clay here and here. So technically, technically this map is workable. And sand is somewhere here. Coal. Uh -huh. Probably it's about this coal, right? Uh-huh, there is more. Maybe there is a deposit here. What, is it the... Ah, I cannot scroll beyond Fog of War. Fine. So you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm just looking at the top left corner and checking whether there are some resources beyond the Fog of War. Sometimes it can be shown like it did already. So, sand is one thing that I'm suspicious about because I'll have to travel a huge distance from uh, not so from here from here if I if I'm to put my settlement my main building here I'll have to travel long distances and also about medicinal routes about medicinal routes there are no um, roots here on this side of the lake which means that i'll have to send my foragers all the way around all the way around the lake to pick the roots here 
or he or here well that's not the most convenient placement you can imagine mm, maybe there is some root here somewhere no maybe it's somewhere beyond the fog let me check carefully no um hasn't shown anything yet if there is something there uh no 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 well it's not the worst uh, location not the worst location not the best one at the same time especially taking into account the roots who's there Mr. Marvelous, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm obsessing about uh, whether I should play on this map or should I reroll again. So, very boring thing is happening here. Please, please have patience. I'm, I'm really troubled by this conundrum. <laughs> Also, do I like this mountain? Like, is it some workable territory or it's not? What what I want to do with it? Mm. Where am I going to have fields? Fields can be... Nah, I don't know. To be honest. This thing that the mount is in the center. And I don't know how big the lake is. It, it could be like too big and in that case i might be again facing some troubles uh this side of the map is uh, completely mysterious to me i know that feeling i'm rolling the maps all the time yeah exactly exactly so like this one has all the necessary resources yes but somehow i just don't resonate with the map that's the problem I, I i don't feel like wow i want to build here like no i i understand that i'll have oh by the way infinite coal i know that i will have a lot of trouble here especially with pastures especially with farming as there is a lot of territory uh stolen by the mountain and by the lake so maybe let's reroll let's stop torturing ourselves and just pick something different if there's us in the wild in the in a weird place and far away i roll well this is not a big issue because i know that my town will sprawl at some point like it happened with cheese bagel the the town that i built before that it really sprawled it was very to occupied large piece of land so that does not worry me too much but uh, yeah, so it's it's definitely something that makes you consider whether the game is at all worth it. I mean, whether the effort is worth it. So let's see. There is a, a little lake here with medicinal roots, and uh, it's it's not far. So this place is suspicious because there is a kind of a hilly area, as you can see here. But that's that's kind of fine. I still can find a. I think a flat area somewhere like probably here and make it my main uh, location for residential territory so that passes okay so there are medicinal routes there is a flat area and plenty of uh, potential for farms so that's that's another thing so the new patch is live yes it is it's uh, it's been live for well it was released on Friday, I think, uh, or Thursday, on Thursday, I think on Thursday, and uh, on Friday or Saturday they released the hotfix, so 0.2.0.9.2a uh, is currently live, so you're welcome to go to Steam and <laughs> check it yourself, but uh, if you decide to stay with me, I'll be grateful, I mean, uh, maybe in parallel, it's also fine, so... Thanks for coming and saying hello at least. It's really nice of you. 
So, uh, look at that. We have infinite source of coal and sand over there. And uh, that means that I can, in the future, like go and create some industrial sector over there. And uh, yeah, so that's that's also a good a good thing to to have been discovered. Next one, we have some clay, which is like in a, some distant territory. Uh, I would prefer somewhere more central. Do I have it? Do we have more clay? Uh -huh. Yes, we do. Some clay here. Some clay here. Endless gold. I mean, who who needs gold? I mean, what the hell? Like, what's the what's the point of this completely useless resource? I mean, in the game, of course. I'm not saying that in life you don't need it. Unfortunately, you do, and a lot of it. I mean, it's a good it's a good metal. Uh, really useful in industries, so I have nothing against gold in real life, but in the game, it it's kind of nah. Another infinite source of uh, sand and coal, okay, but so far I have found only two clay pits, clay deposits, which makes me a bit, a bit uh, empty. But I mean that's still fine. Like one can be extracted here, and usually it's oh there is another one. So okay, and uh, there was the third, right? Was there? Or it's the second that was. That was the, f the third. No, that's the third. Okay. So three clay pits. That should be enough. More than enough. What else? Mm, Willow. Willow is uh, quite omnipresent. It's here. It's here. Probably it's also here. Yes, exactly. So Willow won't be scarce. Or, and we have deers also. There are maps where deers are not present. And I hate it because we need some... Uh, pelts. Now, uh, stone deposit, or how do we call it? Stone, stone, stone deposit. Where? Well, probably it should be on the mountain somewhere. I see. I see iron, 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 iron. And again, oh, here we go. The deposit of stones. Fine, fine. Uh, so the final question is do I like the map? I think I do. I think I do. Another thing is to obsess about uh, ruins where we'll get artifacts, but as we know from my previous experience, the ruins, I mean, can be found on the outskirts and uh, I'm totally fine with uh, looking for them later, just sending scouts, anyway that won't be happening uh, fast and I don't have any chance to utilize the found relic as the temple will require a lot of resources, so there's no need to be hasty about that. Um, yeah, there's, I have a feeling that I've forgotten something. but. Seems all right. Seems all right. So let's now finalize our decision about where is going to be the town hall. Has to be on... A, well, it doesn't have to be on a flat area itself. The homes must be on the flat area. For instance, here. For instance, here. Is it flat? Like, how can I check the flatness of the area? It's... Uh, it's a suspicious place. So what about this, for example? And this one is a an elevation of what? It looks like an elevation, yeah. But here... Wait, wait a second. I should have the mountain on. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking about the, this part of land. This part of land here. Lots of trees to chop down. Uh, deers will migrate, but not too far away, so we can hunt them. Mm. Whereas fish, what about fish? Uh -huh. 
fish is going to be over there so we'll have to either go that way or to the right or to the left so either way the same distance and it's going to be nice to have fish because because it's uh, a good steady resource of food so i'm thinking about constructing my town hall somewhere here and that will be clay or this will be clay resource i don't know i don't know yeah it's uh, it's fine it's fine so let's put our town hall wait you were uh -huh. yes i want to place it here you like it mr marvelous thank you i like it too so let's uh, get start it villagers are hungry i don't know why they are hungry let me ban all the resources in the storage cart let me check the the interface changes if there are any uh storage you need a little, mm -hmm. just there was something about storage ah not storage cards about wheel cards uh that are going to help with um, managing the resources better they added infantry unit selection archer units cavalry and select all military units with f6 to f9 keys i'm not sh i mean i would rather hide it now especially that i don't i'm playing pacifist but all right so Building menu, harvest, clear, manage walls, flatten terrain, dirt road, set exploration point, resources, people, and center camera on village. Okay, there is nothing new here. What about buildings? Let me check. Um, one more thing. Wait a second. I have to, of course, create a new save. April Town. Yes. Created. Created, right? Because saving sometimes glitches and once i lost several hours of progress that was unpleasant so what do we have what do we have market graveyard shrine nothing surprising healer's house treating post school festival pole red catcher temple uh-huh pub apothecary shop theater library guild hall and crypt everything we have seen Eh, shelter and temporary shelter we have seen that too storage looks like nothing has changed food production now let's be careful hunter forager fishing crop field and smokehouse yeah windmill bakery barn goat barn and chicken coop yeah that's what has changed Bo uh, goat barn with a goat barn by the way tier two as well as barn uh, goats can be raised for food hides and milk goats must be purchased from a visiting trader at the trading post why do they require uh, animal skulls i have no idea maybe that's a way to indicate that <laughs> there are animals required I'm so happy about chickens me too dude me too i i was looking for eggs so much eggs i mean uh they finally can be generated within the village within the town so with the ch with the chicken coop i wonder if they have charles the evil chicken from the sims 3 uh chickens can be raised for eggs and slaughtered for meat chickens must be purchased from a visiting trader at the trading post well that's unsurprising cheese maker and uh preserve is building okay i also read that they altered the way milk is generated so now it's generated throughout the year evenly instead of being created in bulk that's the way they put it in the patch notes oh there must be something new here because i see that there are more buildings than there should be for example this one yeah stable with the stable, horses can be raised for the training of horsemen and lancers. Horses must be purchased from a visiting trader at the trading post. I don't think I'll need a stable, uh, but 
We might build it when we have abundance of resources, which isn't going to happen anytime soon. Apiary, Potter, Weaver, Armory, Charcoal, Soap and Candles, Furniture, Brewery, Foundry, Blacksmith, Forge, Brickyard, Glassmaker, Paper Mill and Bookbinder. Okay. Deep Clay, Deep Iron, Gold, Coal, Sand and Quarry. I also heard from my student that compost yard was reworked but we'll learn that soon because I cannot see anything about that in the I couldn't read anything in the patch notes in the first place and here I see nothing barracks cavalry stable I suspect is going to be a huge building roads and fencing unchanged decorations uh, shame nothing changed about decorations still the same stuff well mothers mothers have been led to alternate the game so let's hope they add, they add something interesting to decorate uh, decorative um selection i'll be quite excited to try out some new things so um now i should remind myself not to be greedy and not start like super fast expansion the way I like doing it. I should instead be like, I should remember that um, winter is coming and, and that I should chop trees, some some trees for my, for my people. Ah, I have to build the town center to begin with. So let's do that. Housing shortage. Well, I never really housing shortage. I and I thought they'll miraculously have tents out of nowhere. A whole new page begins, people. A whole new page. So so so. Please go faster. Are you building a what? Nah, doesn't look like that. Okay, mm, let's harvest some some trees and stone. All right, the town hall is standing. Excellent. Next thing, we have to build houses. Uh, let's build how many? Four to start with. One house, four people, right? If I remember correctly. Maybe let's build uh, six houses. Uh huh. And uh, we also have to have country road. There was some song about country roads, if I remember correctly. Country roads take me somewhere, I think, but I don't remember the text of the song. Uh, what else? Uh, graveyard, hopefully, won't need anytime soon. Food production storage stockyard well let's start with the stockyard and build it here but houses have to be prioritized especially those which are supposed to be um, hidden by the trees um, you know it country roads take me home to the place i belong <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll have to listen to it after the stream. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Wait. 
Why are the buttons not working? I want to speed up the game, but I'm pressing. Hey, how do you speed up with with keys now? I Hey! Where are the hotkeys now? Interface, interface. Uh, tell me how do I Ah, controls. Controls. Um Save camera position or is it wait? Aha. Uh -huh. What? I don't understand. Uh Save camera position. Control Ah. Control Alt one. So uh, this one is one. This one is two. This one is three. So Alt one. Alt two. Oh, wow! Replanting bl blueberries is going to be super efficient now. Wow! Very clever without the mini map, but very clever. Whoa! I'm impressed. Great entertainment, your fire. Okay, uh, next. Next. Combat, unit widgets, building widgets, resource widgets, fertility, desirability, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about speed control? Huh? Minus and equals. Um, is this one? Uh huh. I see. Yeah, that will require some um, muscle memory update. But okay, okay, I got it. I got it. No problem. Understood. Understood. I don't like this weapon stuff because it really like I'm I see it with my peripheral vision and I'm like what's there what's there like what's some kind of notification I haven't haven't closed the building menu but it's it's just weapons I wish I could turn this off and I cannot and I cannot well it's fine it's fine house in shortage again well, build those freaking houses what are you what are you thinking Let's not collect stones. Stones I have... I mean, I don't, but they can wait. And they're building rows. I like how they, like, last patch or two patches ago, they, they changed to prioritize uh, road construction a lot. Yeah, it could be nice that you can turn it off or move it at least. Yeah, because I'm not even going to build any unit any any war units in the nearest future so not that i need that badly okay we have houses we will have uh, storage so we should think about food production food um food what uh, collection let's create a little a little what a little extension to our village and uh, this extension 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 shall be devoted to food yeah something like this then um, how many I think Fisher Fisher shack is three then another three hunter cabin then we must have a forager and a smoke a smoke house yeah something like this and here yes so food smoke house will be placed here then um forager shack let's place it here then fisherman here They'll walk to the place where a fish nests. 
over there. And then we have to have a hunter. Here we go. Right. And besides that, we must build a wood chopper. Firewood splitter, I'm sorry. Firewood splitter also affects the mood of the colony negatively. So let's put a this boot in here. And uh, water well, let's put here next to the town center. Let's go. With priority to water, firewood splitter, and uh, stockyard build site. Let me ask you, do you have a plan in advance on how the layout is going to be, or do you just do as... Uh, do you just do it as you go? Uh, complicated thing to read. I have a plan. I have a plan which I tried... Um, Mr. Marvels, I think we talked before, right? So you probably have seen my cheese bagel town, the previous... Uh, the previous build-up of mine. Uh, if you haven't, I can show you now. Uh, just I will load that save and save this one. Uh, but essentially, the market is in the center and then uh, on the uh, diameter, around the diameter of this market, there will be some amenities. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm going just to repeat the same, the same thing for now because I have no idea how the balance with goats and uh, and chicken is gonna play out. So let me take it, take steps carefully. Okay, saw pit can be constructed now. Mm, saw pit. Let's put it uh, where. I'll give me a moment. Give me a moment. I think I'd like to extend the rod here. Hopefully that will not touch the the plants. Mm -hmm. uh, do it this way and, and no 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 resources. Yep. Mm-hmm. What's your problem? Missing source logs. Well, don't miss them. Just go and... Who is gonna chop all the trees? I'm sorry. Like, why nobody is working in this damn village? Maybe there are not enough hands. Maybe that's the problem. Also, no stones. Let's harvest stones. What for? What do I need them for? I don't know. Let's not harvest stones then. And we have to build a storehouse. Slope too steep? What are you talking about? It's it's not steep. Hell. Mm, storehouse, storehouse. Maybe here then? No. Again, steep slope. Yeah, completely. They think I'm a, an, I'm an idiot with, with their argumentation. So, um, don't like how it looks, but it's not a good time for aesthetics. Mm, let's build it here. Construction enabled. No, not now. Mm. Trees have to be chopped, chopped fast. Faster, please, faster. Prioritized. Winter is well not upon us yet, but it will be at some time in the future, so let's not take chances. Three months of food? Oh, uh -huh. that spells trouble. Probably need to have a root cellar. Root cellar will probably logically be placed here, close to food source. Mm, so how about... What are they doing with logs? I'm sorry. I mean, they keep chopping trees, but I see no effect. I mean, 
nothing is built no ah maybe they they create log uh they create firewood maybe that's what's happening okay then keep going keep going um uh, the the trees here can i get rid of them please thicket it's a thicket but a huge thicket mm -hmm. Uh, is anyone going to freaking build the damn food production? Anything. Oh, okay. The first one is going to be finished and it's a forager. Yeah, time for a forager. Autumn. Wonderful. Great, great job, people. You could do it even later. You didn't have to, to be that fast, you know. Morons. Hawthorne. Hawthorne is still not replantable. Shame. But okay, I accept it. Fishing shack is ready for action. Let's send the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the numbers there. At the efficiency rate of this. Crazy. What do you mean jump, jump to target IC? The efficiency of that building is insane. Um, building storage is full. I'm sorry. Full of what? I can tell you that my ears are full of shit that you're telling me. Um, next, birch tree. Do I have enough firewood for the winter? Yes, I think I do. So we aren't going to die. I want to keep food somewhere and uh, I must start hunting. I must start hunting, so please, my dear villagers, take action. It's the first winter of April Town. Congratulations. I lost my cursor in this winter, in this blizzard. I mean, I really can... <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> I cannot literally see my cur... What? Ah, okay. I probably am too tired. Whoa. I keep losing it. Ah, okay, I see. I think I am tired today. Well, I mean, I had four lessons and and then a long walk and shopping for products and and I literally lost my cursor cursor in the blizzard. Okay, that's um, quite a, an alarming sign, to be honest. Such a huge maple tree shame that I have to chop it down but I must I must have this uh, saw pit hunters finally are ready for action sorry dears it's you or me in such circumstances while vegetarianism is not a thing yet it is definitely now for me at least but uh, in that century where we are now it's uh, different games uh, different rules of the game so colony unfortunately will not survive without meat sustenance i'm sad about it but that's how we go okay my sennheiser's arm is behaving once again sorry for that noise i just complained about my sennheiser's today to a shop assistant he, i not that i just approach shop assistants arbitrarily and start complaining about Sennheiser, no. Uh, he himself initiated the conversation first and he said, well, how long have you had those? And I was like, well, for some time already and I don't recommend because, because they glitch from time to time and I don't like it. Okay, one month of food. Uh, hopefully we shall get resupply soon. Um, harvest these trees for logs for the stock house. Yum. Rosebush. Rosebush. Can you imagine building something out of a rosebush? I honestly cannot. But probably they know something I don't know. Storage cart. I think I should move it closer to the hunter because they need to fetch arrows. Sawpit is ready. Um, let me 
show them that they should chop the trees and um, chop down these trees here and these here and maybe a bustling market of course it will make my colony better let's build a market a ah why is the game trying to fool me i i'm not ready yet for for a market so please don't give me false signals thank you Uh -huh. Okay, I have some planks, I have some stones, uh, nothing to smoke yet. I'm talking about uh, meat. Hunters have eliminated all the, dre all the deers already, so maybe we can hunt them here. It's going to be more mm, efficient, I think we should give some time to the deers to repopulate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You too have to be chopped down. Right. Now it looks like the market can be constructed and then we have to decide April Town. We have to decide where. Oh, it's the most important decision now because... Oh, there is an elevation after all. So then I should build the market somewhere here. Mm. Somewhere here. Yeah. And within the market we will have will have the rest of the housing. The expansion circle will be one or two lines, I think. Well, probably two lines, no more. So let's have the market uh, here. Then we will need plaza level two but it's unavailable now so let's just keep it in mind that we must have plaza here and build houses as if there is plaza or already so let's hit let's have a couple of houses here and um, i don't remember the pattern don't remember the pattern to be honest But let's go some way and later we shall decide what the pattern is going to be specifically. Let me relocate all the houses from here. Mm -hmm. To the market to make them text. Text like... Uh, tax inspector will be asking have you filed uh, have you completed your tax um, declaration what are the conditions for level two shelters eight shelters have to be We'll have exactly 8, uh, 30 people, 60 planks, 30 stone pieces, uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I 
Eight houses mean how many people? 32 people, right? So we'll need some more immigrants. Let's have another house. What about food? Food is good and well stored. I think I need more planks to upgrade to next level. Uh, yeah, a lot more, please. Let's have lots of workers on planks production. Uh huh. Yeah, water is immediately in shortage. Um, let's place the water well here. Mm. Immediately we have some nonsensical roads, but that's fine. <laughs> Always love the starting start stage of the game. I mean, later it's fun, but becomes more of resource manager. Yeah, um, I can. Mm, I can say that maybe. When we reach level 2, tier 2, that's where I actually start enjoying the game because the first steps, the very first steps are a bit... Um, to me, they're a bit like luster because I have to really... Like, I, I mean, I know what I want to do with the village, but with the town, but I ha I'm limited very much, very, very much. And uh, to when, when it's level 2 and it's tier 2, you already lose some limitations. And so it's um, something I'm waiting for with great anticipation. We need to have 7 more people. They probably will arrive next year. Uh, can I do anything to attract them? Probably build some trails, some beautification. Do I want beautification? Maybe not yet. Oh, look, already can be, like, there could be, oh, seven people, exactly seven people, mind you, exactly seven. So let's collect some stone and uh, collect some planks and get to level, to tier two. Hmm. <clears throat> I think my blood pressure is quite high because I, I literally pressed my palms together and I feel the blood pump in my veins. I'm too young to have these issues, but what can we do? So, we'll have to change medication, I guess, in the nearest future. So, 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 so. Um, Let's harvest some tickets as they will give me some firewood. That not that we lack any, but just in case also I want to destroy the dirt road. It looks a bit nonsensical currently. I don't like nonsensical roads, to be honest. I don't think anybody does. So yeah. In fact, let me destroy even this one. Oh no. Now see my mistake here. Roads, roads, uh, country roads. 
Uh huh. And here, like this. Or, wait a moment. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, what? No. No. Wait, wait. What is so fast? They construct roads too fast now. In, in the latest patch, I cannot even cancel my order. They already have finished the... Oh! The April Town can be upgraded now. Woohoo! Tier 2! Tier 2! <sighs> Stones and planks are traveling towards the construction area. And we shall successfully have it. Quite fast. Quite fast. I should say. How did this piece of green survive amidst all these houses? Unbelievable. Spring has come, but planks have not. 45 gold. Look at that. And not much food also but that should be that should be fixed mm -hmm. down hall tier two excellent so immediately we have to put some decorations decorations which are gonna be plaza Plaza around the market uh, place. Yep. Let me save the game uh, April Town. Why I'm saving is because I want to check what's um, what my layout with Cheese Bagel was. It will take some time to load. Whew. Villagers who are unhappy will drink more at pubs and can become violent when intoxicated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many people do they have in Cheese Bagel? I think 700 or 800 or 840. 860 two markets full of people around one house had i think six people oh no eight people i think eight no wait four five six seven that doesn't make sense four ten ten people per house so how many Ooh, we are glitching. Eight people per house. Okay. So how what was my what was my design? Am I doing the thing? Ah 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 cross structure. Cross structure, not what I yeah, already a mistake. Already a mistake. Oh, gosh, it's so beautiful here. So beautiful. Amazing. Oh, 760, not 860. Okay. Looks like a real city to me. A real town, I mean. Yeah, quite amazing. Gold is just in inexcusable amounts. Huge fields. Uh, Amogus. <laughs> Amogus incident. Uh, and uh, cemetery. Mm -hmm. I was think Why? There are two diseased villages. So, I was thinking that I actually dislike the idea of the crypt. Uh, because just... 
I mean, it may sound grim, but I like the way graveyards look in this game because they show how old is the town, how old is the settlement, whereas the crypt is just one building which inexplicably... Uh, how many people can fit in? 500? 2,000. So it's like, what? 2,000 corpses in such a small building? I don't think so. Oh, this is horrible. This is my plantation of trees. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, this is all not that important. Every map will have a new layout, but the residential layout is quite critical because the better, um, the more compact the residences are, the more, well, first of all, realistic it looks like, in my opinion, and secondly, the less resources I'll spend on maintenance and the more money the more gold I will generate. And so we shall we shall repeat that thing that we have in Cheese Bagel that will require me to make some changes already because I messed up. Because I messed up messed up with the cross structure. Yeah. If planted in their preferred soil type. Mm. Yeah. I know that. Mm -hmm. So let me just... Um, tea doesn't feel right. I will go grab some different drink. Give me a second, please. I don't think I'll hold more than half an hour more, but I don't want to leave right now, to be honest. It's just, it's just I've started, but I'm... I don't know, I'm so tired somehow. Maybe the walk, the walk was too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll be back in this. Back to business. I'm here. If you're tired, friend, you should go rest. Oh, thank you for support, Mr. Morales. I don't know. Um, I work, you see, I, I work seven days a week and I really love my job. I teach English, as you know. Uh, but uh, at times, maybe once, twice a month, I do feel kind of drained. Uh, probably it's one of these days. And uh, just uh, it took a bit longer to come back because I checked my blood pressure. It's reasonably high, uh, but reasonably so strange. Maybe it is a long walk. Maybe it's just again accumulated tiredness. So I'll spend some more time with you, and then we'll go. But 
I should. I I I, I want to be diligent. I mean, responsible should um, give some performance at least today, and then go. Father's Frontier. I waited for so long to stream it, and I know people like it. People like watching it, so I don't want to uh, let anyone down. So let's let's do a couple of more things. So, for example, <laughs> let's. Let's relocate the basic well once again, as I need to free up the space. Uh, then shelters have to be put somewhere differently, like here. And this one has to be put, uh, for instance, here. Then um, this one is also blocking the path. Let's put it here. Next one. Let's put it uh, here. This one let's put here, then medium plaza. I'll need a lot of stones for that, you know. Do we have stones round? No, we only have stones here. So let's uh, harvest these ones, harvest these ones, and uh, these ones, and these ones, and there is a little one here. Yep. Do you teach in a school online? I am a self-employed specialist, so I teach online. I have students from different places. I have private students. I have an English club that I teach, uh, that I organize for one uh, IT company. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, quite diverse. But uh, yeah, I am only responsible for myself. This house has to be... What? Have I just... Where did I put it? Stop. Stop. Don't relocate it anywhere, please. Not sure where I sent it to be built, but I don't like it. Preempt. Ah, ah, no. Wait, it wasn't that house. I think it was some different house what about you where are you gonna be located um hmm maybe uh in fact here is a good place let me increase the speed uh used to teach english online for five years now i'm graphic designer wow um that's uh trying to remember if we have talked about it because each time i hear about graphic design i get very very excited it's uh, one of the most fascinating things that i know and it's one of those professions that if i did not like english so much i mean teaching english and well english itself of course if i did not i would definitely consider something like uh, graphic design as well um because uh, so for instance my my sister is a a 2d artist she works uh, in a game uh, development mobile gaming company and uh, so she entered the university some years ago and exactly uh, graphic design so oh remember when we have lightning we unfortunately have glitches so we will have to stop the game quit it and uh, come back to the game again because if a, a storm starts then it means that we'll have glitches all over the place unfortunately so let's restart let's restart so my sister studied there for one uh, for three semesters and then she realized that Graphic design is too full of rules for her and doesn't really... So it's kind of it kind of restrains creativity. Um, and she instead wanted to draw and, and paint and be more creative, so become an artist. And so she left university, did some courses, and now she is a full-time artist. While for me, design is... I mean, I like painting. I love painting. I also paint mostly some concept art and some, you know, this modern stuff, uh, crazy things, crazy ideas. Uh, with not very academic, uh, I mean, not at all academic stuff. So graphic design for me is, is so incredibly fascinating because it's, it's like 
uh, how to make a proper poster, how to make a proper uh, picture, like materials for education, how to choose fonts, how to attract the attention of uh, the person who will be looking at your uh, work of art. Uh, like what text you will read first, what second, what third, and so on and so forth. The position in the negative space, the uh, many, many, many things. It's it's just incredible. I love to study that, and I I harbor this desire, this hope that I will at some point in my future life just to facilitate whatever I'm going to be doing. Because uh, understanding fonts, understanding materials making helps me teach. Uh, in a more elegant manner because I can design my own materials and, and that actually uh, is quite uh, a meaningful thing. I, I, uh, I think it, uh, it's something that my students also appreciate, I guess. Uh, at least I don't make anything like this horrible Comic Sans-based... Uh, uh, exercises i mean they're awful <laughs> every time i i see that stuff my eyes bleed so please that i'm saved from what is going on here i don't understand i lost the ah uh, ah uh, wait a moment so like is there a problem i don't understand or or no well, actually no everything is fine right everything seems to be fine where are you relocating i'm sorry where are you relocating um i don't understand where this house was planning to go but you should go here. Let's wait. And um, I'm slightly worried about my food supply. It looks like we won't have enough. So I'm probably I'm going to add Hunter. Hunter. here uh, maybe a road that will go um, well let's have a square a uh, rhombus rather maybe not a not a square but a rhombus I don't think it will be neat enough yeah Let's go this way, destroy this dirt road, and connect these two here. Yes, I'm Rhombus. How? Oh, how seems ended? Ended. Hello, Luzian. Seems is endless, ceaseless. It cannot end. It only can pause for some time. Uh, and this time is while I'm playing Father's Frontier, while I'm playing Planet Crafter. Um, so you just, uh, you just, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to put the Sims on hold and I'll come back when, uh, I'm finished with these two wonderful games from Crate Entertainment and Muju Studios. Uh, Planet Crafter shall be released on the 10th of April. Uh, I have, uh, what, 10, 10 days to play Father's Frontier. I think it's enough to build a decent village. Uh, majestic one yes new patch exactly uh, the the last stream on father's frontier was by patch 0.9.1 now i'm playing 0.9.2 a so i'm quite excited there are two uh, not two several new buildings um, more specifically more importantly uh, chicken coop uh, without charles evil chicken but still and uh, goat barn so i want to try them out Maybe this time we'll also test how military units are trained because somewhere in the future, in the distant future where Father's Frontier is finally going to enter full release, I'll start playing uh, with uh, raiders 
because well it's kind of unfair that i'm ignoring the a huge part of the game's mechanics but but for now i just don't want to uh how to say to be reckless i think not not reckless it's just it's just i'll definitely not have some peaceful time building a village if i'm constantly raided by some morons and uh yeah so i am i i'm i'm trying to be safe trying to be safe i'm trying to to protect myself from that uh i should probably relocate the food storage somewhere closer to the to the market it just only makes sense water ain't enough so we have to <laughs> relocate the well once again yay once again poor well it's gonna be relocated for the fourth time can you imagine that what madness, what madness, Andy. Mr. Marlos92 migrates to Twitch. Let me follow you here as well. Digitalize your stream on Twitch also. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And that's, uh, I think, my... You are my 202nd follower. I'm very grateful. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Somewhere next week shall be not only my birthday but also the first day of streaming uh, i mean anniversary of my first day of streaming i think i started in april 2020 four years ago so yeah <clears throat> it's nice uh, i have uh, as many as 202 followers on twitch and 169 on youtube after four years of trying hard uh quite uh, what uh humble modest results but but the most important thing is that i know that lots of my subscribers now uh, and followers are real people who actually come and talk to me and uh, talk to me quite uh, how to say consistently and uh, with mm, how to put it so it's it's just conversations that are quite meaningful quite from time to time they're quite meaningful and i i do appreciate that because the point why i began streaming was to exactly play and socialize with people so yeah, thank you for that. Oh, and I just realized why my plaza is being constructed so slowly. Guess what? Because, Andy, money. What What are you thinking about? It's, it's, <laughs> it's actually a very expensive thing to build plaza with only 12 coins per month. 12 coins per month. I, I will be building this plaza for years. Shit, I, I don't know what, why I'm so stupid. Also, I have to build a comp compost yard uh, where should i put it well let's put it here i should not do it this way but um okay let's put it here now for now basket shop do i have willow i don't so no baskets for now arrows 10 for real only 10 arrows damn it okay then fletcher fletcher let's build fletcher cobbler and tannery do i have tallow and pelts yes i do so cobbler and um, tanner cobbler can build somewhere in the civilized area i don't i still don't get it why cobbler is not affecting desirability while a tanner does i don't understand this at all basket shop basket shop um well i should have it honestly because uh it's a necessary thing to facilitate my workers labor so we just need to redirect the forest uh, the forager into some willow rich location or just willow location like the diamond layout in the middle 
Well, Diamond is uh, a fancy name. I thought it's a rhombus, but uh, still. Uh, thank you, thank you. It it it's. Uh, I call what is happening right now pathetic, pathetic in its worst sense. But uh, that's the best I can, I can do it for now. Bakery, windmill, and arborist. I don't know. The game is very optimistic about my potential at this point. I don't think I can do it that fast to reach some uh, crops like bread. It's crazy. Trading post, school, festival, pool, rat catcher, and temple. Nah. So trading post is something quite uh, useful to construct right now. Uh, because I want to start trading. The question is what I will trade as I have literally nothing to sell yet. Except for two weapons, two swords, and that's it. Mm, I need to think. Don't think I have any tradables yet. How about my hunters? Hunters have begun their work. Fletcher, can you please make? Oh, sorry, make a lot of arrows, but not a lot of. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, we need bow bows. Still, also, also. Tannery build site, cobbler is in action already, uh, logs have vanished, okay, let's chop chop the forest, let's do that. How many people do I have? Not enough, the answer is not enough. Oh, gold, gold, let's uh, prioritize the central central plaza Mr. Marvelous you are a graphic designer or UX UI designer so what what do you specialize in If I may ask, of course, you, it's it's you don't have to disclose any sensitive information. Uh, so do t do tell me if if I'm poking my nose at some sensitive stuff. I I'm just uh, you, you should understand I'm I'm uh, I'm very uh, professionally. Um, deformed already I, I i tend to ask a lot of questions and if you wake me up at night and ask me to interview a person i will do that without any efforts i have noticed multiple times that i don't need to think to ask a question because sometimes with my students i ask a question and then i realize that i realize what i asked like it it just shoots without me controlling the thing it it just happens like that so really fascinating training i've got after years of teaching but uh, yeah sometimes it's scary i have uh, mainly social media posts and branding like logos etc i have done a couple of ui designs for the website all right okay so it's a uh, genuine uh, graphic design actually not not uh, ux ui not at least um not as uh, the main thing yet or just not as the main thing because recently i uh, was introducing one of my oh no a fire a fire please please uh, somebody put it out put it out i don't want to lose my smokehouse i mean how did they even do that so i was introducing my acquaintance who is uh, a ux ui designer i introduced her as a graphic designer and uh, people around us they were IT specialists, they were like, Andy, Andy, uh, please uh, be careful with distinguishing between the two. Uh, but I was introducing to a person who is not acquainted with the IT industry, so not that it made uh, much difference to that person, the, the, the last one, I mean the, the latter, but uh, yeah, of course, I understand that UX, UI and graphic design may lie in completely different areas of work Dajni, welcome hello how are you how is your game 
How is your mood? Tell us. Tell us everything, my friend. Ah, Tajni, Tajni. You know what? I'm, I'm sure you know, but still. Uh, April the 10th, in 10 days, Planet Crafter enters full release, version 1.0. Guess what we should be doing on April 10? I will give you three chances to answer, but I'm sure you will hit me with the right answer for the first time, uh, with the first attempt, I'm sorry. Uh, what should we be, what must we be doing on the 10th of April on the stream? Uh, yes, but more actually. Let me go to Twitch. I I want to let's let's have a poll. I think I I can. I haven't made a poll for a long time. How do I do that? Um, a poll. A poll. Um, non mod settings. Now, how do I? I forgot. Maybe ah, there is a a, a command. I think poll. Yes. Um. Uh, question what um, what are we doing on April 10th we are building the tower of hey we are building the I will build I'll make it nonsensical the tower of tower of Tajni so I probably should use the abbreviation, the acronym. So we'll build in the tower of tower of uh, Tajni, T T O T, and uh, I'm gonna have uh, five options for for two minutes. So you can vote now. Where is the voting? Where is the the poll now? Why is it not? Ah, yeah, it's it's on the chat. I see. So I'm gonna vote for or option here and uh, I'm inviting you people to vote too and I'm gonna be monitoring the results so far only my voice has been has been uh, counted there but you're welcome to to participate and yes there will be multiplayer um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use that of doom of <laughs> you are already picking up yes i see i see you are all grasping the concept as always as always planet crafter is a thing yeah so why is it so slow faster why months are changing too slowly well i stopped drinking tea and immediately things became better Maybe it was just a temporary condition. I I feel better now, so maybe it will be even longer than half an hour that I promised. Maybe it will be well longer. Let's see. What about my uh, trading post? Huh. Let's chop some more trees for the trading post. These ones, uh, please prioritize them. They're tiny. Teeny weeny trees, but they have to be chopped down in honor of the radiant post, which is quite useless, in fact, because I have nothing to trade anyway. But but we can try and sell the swords. Because who knows? Maybe swords will give me something useful after all. What's that? nine pieces of meat got spoiled well that is a good indicator in some way because that means that we have sufficient food what about arrows uh we do have arrows and not a single bow how did that happen i wonder mm, not enough uh, logs again right why are they not chopping 
not enough workers, maybe. How many free hands do I have? 11 laborers, 4 builders. Should be fine, but somehow it's not enough. Look, the attractiveness of the area is slowly increasing, which doesn't make much sense. I mean, not much impact, but still, it's nice that we are beginning to have the outline. Have you heard of Road to Vostok? Uh, Vostok is a Russian word which means East. Uh, but that's all I can tell you about what you are asking. So what's this Road to Vostok? Hmm, I don't see any changes about the compost yard. Oh, and it also drains my monetary fund. Oh no. Oh no. I wish I could sell compost to traders, but I mean, wh why am I laughing? Fertilizers are a thing on the international market, so maybe maybe I could. A stock is also east in Serbian. Ooh, okay. A stock. A stock. <laughs> Istok sounds like an amalgamation uh, from Vostok and uh, East, so together they merge into Istok. Uh, Mr. Maros, you are from uh, Serbia as well? Yay! Have a good uh, team of... Uh, Serb Serbian people on my stream. That's really heartwarming. I'm I'm serious. Serbia, uh, Hungary. It's quite interesting. Uh, I wonder if uh, Hello Flame is now listening. The Hungarian that I mentioned that I'm talking about, and some other people from Hungary too. So it's uh, getting kind of hard to remember who is from where but probably i should do some homework with people on my followers list and just write down countries to remember that i try to be diligent with remembering such things so we are gonna make uh, height coats and uh, shoes which is good we also have some arrows now mm-hmm So what about trading post? Damn it. Finish it already. <laughs> Come on, Tajni. Come on. No need to be toxic towards your neighbors. I mean, of course, you're not being toxic. You're just joking around like you do normally, but still. It's on the kind of on the edge. Hmm. Oh, this huge rock is almost depleted. Look at that. We have lots of stones. Maybe that's where my ma my main uh, force went. Labor force. And the ring of plaza is almost completed. Yeah. I think next one should be these three. And then these three. And then, oh, a trader. A trader is coming. Look at that. Have to have many workers. So let's sell. Let's sell what? Let's sell some pelts. No, no, no. Not 500. I don't have that many. 30 pelts. Let's sell 15 instruments, 15 tools, two swords. And let's hope that the trader that's coming right now can potentially trade for such items. Why is no one migrating into my town? 
What don't they like? Maybe that I don't have a school? Could be. What do I need anyway? Homesteads, 25. Well, I'm quite far away from... Are the two traders at the same time? No, wow. Okay. What do we have here? You're buying beer, pottery, candles, soap, shoes, and linen clothes. And you're buying... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. We have and we can trade herbs. Ho hopefully he'll wait. Oh, look. He buys swords. Thank you. That's 236 gold for me. For which I can buy... I can buy... Pelts and sell them to you. No, no, I cannot because you don't buy them. Pottery maybe? No. Soap, 10 coins and you buy soap for 11. Okay, let's do stock marketing. Mm. If I buy this much and sell, I earn 23 coins this way. Let's just keep going. Buying stock. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm such a businessman. <laughs> yeah, but I must do everything. Everything I can to earn as much as possible at this point. No chance to... Oh, look at that. So I can buy tools from her for 28 coins and sell them for 43 coins. Look at that. Look at that. That's a massive difference. So if I... And, and swords, but no, swords are offered at a very steep price. So I'm going to buy... Well, look how excited I got. I, I'm, I think I'm an... an um, a born trader, stock market trader, because I just earned uh, one well, fifteen hundred gold just out of what? What did I have? Uh, two swords, and, uh, and that's it. So, and I already have lots of money. So, let's let's look at this man. What what can I buy? I can buy, no, not beer. So maybe you have something that I can buy and sell to this lady. Trees talking to each other. Hey, why is this guy buying from you and selling to me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They they must be quite flabbergasted with what's happening. But uh, too late, too late, my friends. You are already ripped off. You're already, um, yeah, in massive disadvantage. Well, unfortunately, I cannot proceed. So we have smoked meat and pelts and clay and raw meat while she doesn't buy anything of that and uh, I wish I could continue with tools but he unfortunately ran out of money on the other hand on the other hand I can buy something from him for example pelts mm. for example pelts for the future and later I can sell them to someone or well, no or I will just sell them to someone. That gives him extra 773 coins. So I keep buying tools. Let's let's say this amount and sell them for half a thousand. Let's buy another, what, five and sell those five again. And that leaves him with, with 42 coins. That's not scamming, it's profit. It's exactly so. It's exactly so. Um, smoked meat. Atka, why don't you buy smoked meat? And why don't you sell beer to me, my man? Why don't you do that? Uh, what else can I purchase? Well, Atka has... Well, it would make sense to actually buy all the tools that she has and uh, later sell them to someone at a steeper price because somebody will be buying tools like this man here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to 
behave like I have no money. I mean, I'm not going to behave. I will have no money at all. But I'll have 45 tools which can sell for much more money than, than I got them for. Um, what else? What else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's as good as it can get for now. So let's just proceed. Let's proceed. Maybe the third merchant will arrive at the end of the year, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Another fire has begun. Stock markets. One of the most refreshing things in this game when I can... Um, what's the word? It was a nice... Oh, Tajin, you have to go. No worries. Uh, hope to see you next stream, which will happen somewhere in the future. Probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, I'm not sure yet. So, see you next time. Um... Fleece. Yeah, I fleeced those two traders. That's, I mean, I fleeced only one and another one fleeced me. And I also have to respond to my girlfriend to wish her good night because she's going to bed. Um, 15 people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Immediately I have some homeless lads. Hmm. Some homeless lads, that means that I'll, I'll need to um, build some homes now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Uh, 15 new villagers immigrated and I have five homeless people not that many that means two houses should be quiet enough where do i build them i build them mm, well apparently here and here yep and they have to be prioritized and the school a school, um, does it drain money? I don't think so, but it costs money. 150 gold. Very unpleasant. Will it be able to cover all the houses? No, it will not. It will only cover part of those houses. To hell with school, I don't have that much money yet. Plaza is all I need. Somebody's ill. Hopefully they'll recover. Atka is waiting for something. Probably expecting me to sell something else to her. Or buy something from me, but the, that was a repetition. Or to sell something to me. Or me sell something to her, that is. What I wanted to say. Who needs school anyway? Uh, yeah, sure, I mean, Dark Ages. Inquisition, no school, of course, just uh, only stock markets, only stock markets contain the key to our future and nothing else. So, uh, what is my bottleneck at this point? My bottleneck is, it looks like my own brain. And uh, money shortage. So quite classical, uh, quite classical problems, I should say. I'm sure most people have faced this at some stages of their life. Okay, the villager unfortunately did not recover. 
So we already have to decide where the cemetery is going to be located, which is a, a shame. A shame. I don't remember, not that I even thought about it yet, but I thought that I have to have a proper cemetery. Mm. Has to be in some mountainous area. Let me maybe build a road to here. Yeah, and that's where I'm going to build my first cemetery. Graveyard, rather, because of the size of it. It's not going to be impressive, quite modest instead. Have 16 laborers. That's a good number. Uh, the buildings here don't have water, which means I must place a well. And I forgot I should, that some of these buildings require water, actually. Tannery does. They have to walk all the way to the lake to collect some. And here we go. So let's flatten the area to build my first cemetery, my first uh Graveyard, I'm sorry. How big should it be? Mm, is that a square or not? How many? Eight? There? Eight? Uh -huh. Yeah, 400. Wait a moment. It has to be 400. Should be enough. And... Uh, no, not shrine. Graveyard. Mm -hmm. 65 stones be required to build this graveyard here on the hill. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gold. How many months do I need to complete the plaza here? How many are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? So that's already 10 months here. And uh, wait, what? Nine? No, no, <laughs> not 10, sorry. 90 gold 90 gold is only here so it's 270 then 300 and then 330 divided by 9 hmm. 3 years 3 years and several months right so 3 years almost 4 years of the same pace wow <clears throat> Very cool. Not. In brackets. Uh, or oh, more pelts. Pelts are going to be my economical... Uh, economical... Uh, tool. Also boots. No, boots. Shoes I don't want to touch. They're always in shortage. Why herbs stopped being stockpiled, stopped being stopped being collected? I probably should add another I'm sorry, another forager and send this forager to collect to collect herbs if only I had plenty somewhere, but I don't actually have just one source of those ah over there for instance for instance but well technically technically i can period i can new trader what do you have baskets linen clothes you're buying iron beer bricks <gasps> And crossbows, so I should have bought crossbows from that man. But if if and ands, no, it's just should have, could have, would have. Should have, could have, would have. That is the phrase I should use here. 
needs a graveyard to bury the dead. I know. I know. I do know that. Just give me a moment. It's already under construction. Look at this. Hmm. And they're playing. You see that upgrade glitch? Hmm. Funny. Mm hmm. Atka. Hello. So what do we have? Coal, soap, candles, pottery, and gold. And iron ore. Okay, see? Wow, she sells tools again for a very low price. Very low price. But don't have any gold to buy those. I can start mining iron, uh, golden ore and iron, but for that I must have a wagon shop, right? In fact, in fact, where should my wagon shop be located? How about here? Let's see how it rolls. Mm. Ender left without concluding any business with me. It's too slow. Wagon shop is necessary to have all these fancy buildings here. Water. Mm. Hey, sorry. What was that? Speed controls. Ah. Uh, and a new trader is approaching. We have a chance to do some more trade after all this year. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. So who is that? Belder the peddler who buys tools at a horrible price. Horrible. Cannot say anything else about it. Sells grain, medicinal roots, and uh, beans, and bricks. Mm. Actually, actually, I can make some coins after all. Not many, but... Uh, so she sells for 31 coins, and he buys for 32 coins. So <laughs> I can make like... I can make what? Oh, forget it. It's not worth it. Um, but maybe something else. 18 for linen clothes. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Soap. They both buy soap and for a good price. Okay. Bad year for trading. Just bad year for trading. Unsuccessful. Have to already destroy this rhombus because it's actually stopping me from doing something more efficiently looking mm. what about the graveyard 65 stones okay okay that will take some time wagon shop is ready that means I can build a work camp a work camp can uh, Supply me with uh, logs incessantly, which is very convenient. What about my... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me do it a bit differently, like this. Can I set some production limit, by the way? Can I... Uh, minimum quota, maximum quota. Um, what? 
Production limits. Uh, maximum quota is... Um, actually, 100 arrows are enough. And... Uh, yeah, 100 is enough. While bows... Bows should be capped at 5. Yeah. Cool. I, I didn't know that you can... I mean, I did know that, but I never thought about actually using that option. So, and the new forager is ready. So, new forager goes and uh, forages uh, here. Yeah. Go, go, go. The graveyard is very slowly built, but it is being built. It's actually a very useful option. Yeah, it looks like so, because I don't want to have tons of arrows. And uh, I don't want to disable the building, because I can forget to enable it again. And that will definitely bring trouble. Then fish and sh Have I not built another fishing shack oh yes and they have been fishing for <laughs> some while here my bad so i could have had so much more fish actually wait what they actually caught 240 fish here that's madness but okay i don't know how they did that but Maybe they just automatically realize that their leader is completely brain dead and they should take control of production in their own hands. That's probably what they did. Okay, work camp build site is an absolute priority because it will eliminate the trouble with uh, trees, with logs that is. Well look, new trees are slowly reappearing, red pines at that. You want to find other building of the same type, you can just click on arrows next to the name of the building on top of the menu. Let me check that out. Um, I see. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Marvelous. I appreciate that. The more you learn, no, the more you live, the more you learn, right? Mm. The more you play. 11, 11 coins per month. Mm, that's better. That speeds up the process a bit. <gasps> there should have been another market worker. My bad. <sighs> it gets a bit bluish already. Uh, wagon shop is utilized all the time. Maybe they should be utilized all the time. Was that produced? I what? What? Wood planks to produce a cart? Excuse me. When did that happen? Oh, work camp. Here we go. Four people. Full occupation. Only trees. Let's start. Chop chop. Uh. Um. Uh, all trees. Mature, immature, don't care. Just chop them down. Chop them down. Why only two people can be assigned on this graveyard build site? It's 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 so crazy because it takes so long to transport the stones. Now, what can I transport to my... Aha, uh -huh, I see. To my uh, trading... Trading post. Mm hmm... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about baskets? Basket shops don't have enough willow. So they struggle. They struggle to make lots of baskets. Understandable. Understandable. Mm, I think I'd like to have a bit more info on what lies beyond... Please tell me so. Another villager died. Decaying corpses are on the ground. Nobody takes care of those. Horrible. 
Horrible, horrible. Mm -hmm. How many? Eight uh, plazas to go. And uh, I think we should add one house here. Guess what? Relocate the well for the fifth time. Surely. Oh. Shelters get upgraded. Nice. Because of the desirability of the area increasing. Let me refill my drink. I'll be in a moment. I'll be here in a moment. My laptop sounds like it's planning to become a nuclear station, to be honest. Farthest Frontier is a wonderful game, but uh, definitely they should think about optimization a bit. It's just... Uh, I'm, I'm worried about my friend. It, I think I can cook eggs on it. Can I? Well, actually... Yeah, I think I can cook it. Uh, it will take some time, but it will get cooked eventually so oh finally graveyard is ready perfect the first trader is here atka atka again what do we have this time cheap fish and that's it bad gear maybe maybe let's let's not uh, jump ahead of um Ahead of time, maybe another trader will be more benevolent. In the meantime, maybe I want to... What do you mean? Huh? Yeah, flatten three times more just to make it a bit more properly looking. Uh, how many builders can I... Oh, I see. Not that many builders, unfortunately. Because uh, don't have that many people in the village. Where is another trader? Huh? Anyone? Please? Here you are. Here you are. Atka is here for 20 more days. So, um, I also need to have a clay pit um, here or there well it looks like here is going to be more convenient to have it okay let's have a look who do we have this time candles and baskets and linen clothes and clay and iron belts soap aha uh -huh. atka do you buy soap come on really for eight coins and he sells for seven Ah, uh, that's a shame. Okay, what else? What other options do I have? Mm, pottery, candles, baskets, clay. No, they're not crossing each other. Sad, too sad. Let's wait for the third trader, maybe. Maybe that other one will make me happier. I doubt that, but, but who knows? Who knows? Who is this who who knows everything, huh? Do you know? Let's uh, do some more reconnaissance. I want to know where my town should sprawl in the future. Here we go, the mountain, somewhere here must be gold. Yeah, here is gold. Hey, delete that. 
Just remove it. It's not necessary. Gold. Gold is good because Atka buys it from time to time and Atka sells uh, some interesting stuff. Aha, uh -huh. medicinal roots. So a forager should technically be, be sent there. Uh -huh. Let's put the road here. Then uh, here. And again. And again. Here. Okay. Uh, and a forager. Food production. Forager. Forager. Who is there? Who is there? Does not meet requirement of grades. Why is this glitch happening? Uh, wait a second. Atka? What? You just left? <clears throat> now she buys soap for... Atka, just... Just... You know, go. I'm afraid of you. You... You're doing something strange. Don't don't come back this year, please. Just just go. I I know you like me. Maybe you are just giving me a chance, but uh, I don't need this chance. I want you to legitimately go away and then come back with some refilled resources. That's what I'm asking of you, and nothing more. Because if you keep coming back like this, I'm afraid the game might glitch and cause some some trouble which i don't want to happen so yeah drought ah uh, what does it mean i forgot does it mean anything at all probably bad conditions for my well hmm? no doesn't look like that plaza almost completed four tiles left and we shall have a decent looking tiny, uh, not tiny, well, tiny segment of the city, actually, of the town of April. April town. <clears throat> so, oh, the forager is ready. We forage for veggies and medicinal roots. That's the most important thing, in fact. Uh, let me orient you towards those uh, territories They're still flattening this land okay i'll give them some more time to do that mm -hmm. how about my work my what about my working camp how is the progress here progress is all right let's chop the trees Planks mm, are not plentiful, but sufficient. Laborers are definitely insufficient. Builders are insufficient also, and they keep creating more, more jobs. Uh, clay pit. I think I do need my clay pit running. So, yeah. Oh, nine people. Nine people. That's good. That's very good, but that means that I have to add a new house, a new house, and where is it going to be? Where are they going to be, those houses? Well, probably I should just make it a bit dense here. Stockyard has to be relocated to, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, over here, just temporarily, I'm not sure where it has to be placed as of now.
75 berries lost to spoilage. Imaginable. My hard working, conscientious foragers are working hard every year to collect berries in dangerous lands and then those villagers ignore those berries can you imagine that how dare they uh -huh. two medicinal roots and some some greens and some berries <clears throat> Andy, my friend, I'll go take a shower and spend some time with my wife. If you are still streaming later, I'll rejoin. Um, I think uh, I'll be also finishing somewhere in the nearest future. So don't be in a hurry. Do take your time. Uh, my regards to your spouse. Um, and uh, do have a great meet, uh, meeting. Evening, I mean, together. <clears throat> we shall see each other, maybe... Um, well, tomorrow I'll probably have a meeting with my relative and Tuesday I'll be with my girlfriend, so uh, cannot tell yet, but so somewhere within the nearest days because I'm myself very interested in keeping on streaming, of course. So, yeah, see you later. Thanks for coming and having such a such a how to call it decent chat I mean saturated chat that's probably the word saturated with content and information so so oh here we go the first excavation site that I have found on the map gold deposits gold ore it's a deep gold deposit so i cannot extract anything from here but i can extract things from this one and uh, some iron ore here why doesn't the game tell me how much is underground i wonder weird most weird ah five thousand here so strange very strange a pleasure, friend. My notifications are on. I'll be seeing you in the next stream. Have a good night, too. Thank you very much. And, yeah. Have a nice night. Oh, Belder the Peddler. We can sell pelts to him, which is a good um, a good trade. Also, we can sell some, some shoes. Maybe I shouldn't lose this, this opportunity to get some coins. I can buy candles from him and sell them to somebody else. So, well, this year is promising to be, if not lucrative, but uh, I definitely will make some stock for future trading. And look, we have just accumulated some funds. I'm not sure why those funds did not go into the Medium Plaza build site. Maybe because we don't have any builders. No, we do. So I don't understand why. What's the problem? I mean, because builders are busy with flattening the graveyard. Sounds horrifying, actually. Maybe they have been constructing the road, but I mean, the plaza has been here for like ages, and <clears throat> nobody, nobody cared to finish it. Oh, okay. Finally, finally, it's been finished. Okay. Next thing is probably a a school. School has to be built. Well, let's build it. Let's build it here. Mm. The ranch of the market. Nah. I don't remember 
if I can place another house here. And if I should at all, I think I should not. So let's build a school instead. So one, two, one, two. I got afraid that I missed. Oh, Belder the Paddler almost left. It would be a would be disaster if he had left. Okay, so we can buy stones from Atcom, which is at the current stage not the best investment. We can no, we can only sell to her pelts and candles at the low price so I'm not very interested mm, so Belder let me do this I'm gonna sell to you the boots the shoes I'm sorry I'm gonna buy all the candles you have oh okay I don't have enough money unsurprisingly um, let's sell all the pelts that I have buy all the candles that you have stock them Keep selling pelts. Yeah. He still has money. Still has money. What else can I sell? Not to disadvantage myself. Well, that's it, I guess. Shoes. Can you not? Uh huh. Thank you. Mm, Atka, you cannot sell anything that he is interested in, right? So let's wait for the third trader <clears throat> to arrive. That should be something worthy, I hope. And this house needs water access. Let's give it to it. Build a well here. School is under construction, requires money, of course. That will take some time. What about clay? Clay we will have because I started mining it sometime before the school has been placed before the school was placed I'm sorry iron ore or oh, this one has to be mined iron mine because it's gonna take very very little time Three times should be enough, I think. Any any gold here? Let me inspect the area just to refresh my memory on what is hidden there. Same here, please. Are you telling me I have to build an apothecary? Ah, 25 golden coins per month, out of question, out of question. You can die, I don't care, but uh, Apothecary will be constructed, I don't know when, maybe somewhere in the future. So, what do you have, my friend? You sell uh -huh. stones at a low price, but who will buy them? Same here, clothes, coal candles at a very low price the same price that i paid for them so it's absolutely ridiculous pottery pottery i might start making pottery because i will have what i will have i do have clay currently so let's place potter and maybe also let's place a soap shop that penalizes the desirability but there is no residential area here armory nah so potter and soap shop i have herbs i have extra tallow in fact herbs have to be transported to the Trading post. Herbs are a loyal, a reliable source of trading, always. So thank you, Herbs, for being so reliable. Here we go. Iron mine. Iron 
Run mine. Well. Uh, need to immediately sell iron. So I just need to find the... I cannot interact with resources that I don't have, right? Quite makes sense. School requires some more gold, but we shall... If, uh, we shall deal with that shortly, presently. Potter and soap shop are both ready. I don't know about the speed of production, but we will learn about that later. Balancing the the thing, let's gather ore quickly <clears throat> to start trading it in the nearest future. Mm -hmm. Oh, the first piece of iron ore has already appeared in the town, and that means that keep in stock, yeah. That means that next year I'll have something to sell already, which is great. Uh, food is no issue. No fishing range. I understand that, of course. So, or maybe I don't understand. It's not winter yet. There. Oh, so the forager has been inefficient all this freaking time, and I didn't even check on that. Okay, another bad mistake. Could have had much more food, but a lot of nuts I could have had for, I think, three years at least, because it's year eight, and I built this one at least four years ago. Okay, my, my mistake. mistake. How much gold do I have? thousand and two hundred and uh, also plenty of stuff to sell so money should be slowly generating but slowly but generating school is ready immediately one uh, shack becomes a homestead. What about your neighbors? Like this shelter. Ah, strange. Why are they not impressed? So let's add a couple of plazas. One here. Um, one here. One here. And another one here. Actually, there should be two added for each side. Yeah, here we go. School has a teacher already. Sometimes teachers aren't found quickly. This time I was lucky. Should take maybe a a year to build all these plazas, maybe even less, half a year it looks like, because two of them have already been... Oh no, sorry, only one has been... Yeah, so a year approximately. How about my wagon shop? It's idle for quite some time, right? Three people only, three laborers only, but uh, the resources are seemingly all right, all right. So, Mm -hmm. 
21 coins per month the taxes are growing because uh, homes are becoming higher quality they're becoming homesteads how many homesteads i need 25 and currently i have only five real oh that's surprising so i guess they don't like my town that much my townsfolk not yet at least all well, the threshold hasn't been crossed for betterment of living conditions so that's not surprising <clears throat> we'll need another school schools are well they don't require mm, they don't require maintenance so i might actually build them more uh, generously without much without much uh, fear so let's build one more mm. here right if I understand correctly they'll be exactly opposite each other yeah let me relocate the well next to the school just to make complete polarity <clears throat> the school has to be prioritized too who is here score the butcher who buys herbs and tools sells meat sells clay sells well pretty much nothing useful so i'm gonna sell to him the the herbs well, let me wait for the third trader or for the second trader i just don't want to make hasty decisions no don't decay please don't decay the, the water will be there shortly just you wait so what do we have beer you buy beer for a terrible price mm. tools clothes pelts shoes and planks mm -hmm. they don't cross each other that much also they can buy beer from this man and sell it to somebody who deserves that okay zero gold make it 200 now next um, I'll wait for the third trader how many days do I have 57 should be enough to to be on time for the other trader almost all the forest has been chopped about my iron mm -hmm. okay I'm low on laborers I do know that I do know that the well is almost relocated don't get don't get abandoned please Hey, it's all fine now. You should not get this icon here. Belder the Paddler has 17 more days. What about the third trader? The third trader? No? 
Not arriving. Shite. So I'll just have to to buy beer from him and maybe sell clothes. Not sell clothes. Why not? That's some money. Um, and buy all the beer that he has. Buy and stock. I'm sure I'll find a buyer for that. Low desirability is making villagers want to leave. What are you talking about? Also, my headphones are glitching again. Sorry. It's okay. Low desirability, my ass. What are you talking about? No. My town is fine. Your low desirability. Mm, so... I think I want to start mining gold resources, gold, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, I have to flatten the terrain here, um, several times. Mm -hmm. Where should the road go? Um, mm -hmm. Gold will be necessary to sell to Atka. Twenty-seven golden coins per month. That's a bunch of gold already. A bit more and we'll be able to afford a healer. Not that I'm a fan of this, but... Also, we need a rat catcher, remember? Rat catchers are... Also paramount to the village's well-being. So let's have the rat catcher where here. The root cellar has to be brought closer to the to the town. To the town, to the market, I mean, of course, sorry. <clears throat> How much gold? 5,000 also. A lengthy process, but... When we deplete this ore, we'll go for gold. Ideally, that should be simultaneous, but I cannot be too hungry. So... Low on laborers, yes, yes, it is true. Low on laborers, on builders, and what not. Sand, iron ore, sand, 
can't beat here. Where is coal? Now I get suspicious. I did see coal on the map, right? Yes, I did. Because here it is, for instance. Which is a deep deposit. But uh, the question is, did I see any actual coal deposit? Oh yeah, here it is, 7,000. Okay, okay. Then this road will prove to be useful. What's... Excuse me. What is this monstrosity? Uh, how did that happen? Indy, what's your problem? Uh, slope too steep. I don't know. Doesn't look too steep to me. Um, nah. Okay, let's make what I can. It'll be curvy, but it will be there. Atka, hello. Um, candles, soap, planks, gold, tools. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I see. So, candles probably will be my mm, capital generating resource this time. But let's wait for the other trader and see what he or she, well, he, because Atka is the only female trader in the game, so what he has to offer. How about my school? School has no workers. Uh, so, okay, now have workers for, for the school, for both schools. Which is quite important. Some migration should happen to fill up more jobs. I have 14 homesteads currently. Atka is here for 18 more days. Another trader is approaching. Atka, will you wait? Will you be benevolent enough? Yes, thank you, you will. Yes, you will. Um, the rat catcher is here, so let's set the function of catching rats in the vicinity. Three days. Ooh, that was a close call. So, so, so. Mm, pelts and shoes and soap and cheese. Soap for nine. You sell for eleven. That's terrible. Uh, clothes, you're not selling clothes, mm, you're buying clothes instead, mm, stone, do you buy stones by any chance, no you don't, uh, then probably we just should trade, sell to her all the candles, and to you, I'm not sure, I'm going to wait for potential trader number three. Maybe Atka will return again, which is always an unnerving thing to happen. Okay, all plazas have been completed. Houses are becoming homesteads slowly. Shelter has to be a homestead as well, the final one. And in total we'll have how many? Like, well, a lot. 38 days. So we'll have uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 19, right? In the end we'll have 19 homesteads. Good number, but not enough. And here comes the third trader who buys stones for six coins. 
Uh -huh. Probably should buy cheese, but I haven't seen anyone who buys it too. So only next year traders do, I think. Then what shall we trade for with you? Candles? No, that's too expensive for me. Chicken! 97 coins for a chicken. Maybe I can buy a chicken coop. I can build a chicken coop already. I can buy shoes and stock those. I can buy pelts and stock those. And in exchange I should sell all the beer and that means that I still I still win in terms of how much money I've earned. And what only troubles me is that I cannot get anything useful from this one here. Okay, let's have 100 pelts in the storage. Let's have uh, 75 shoes to sell. Let's have 350 herbs to sell. Yeah, here we go. Soap. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think you can have we can have one soap maker. It looks like enough. We can have one potter maker and one clay gatherer that frees up some hands. And uh, well, those hands can go to I'll actually collect iron ore. And chop more firewood because it looks like we are not sufficiently supplied by that. Who else is? Yeah, a wagon is not not necessary. Only only need one person. Wagons. Um, tannery and cobbler. Only one cobbler is in action. Yeah, this looks like like it. Speaking of trees, let's chop trees here. Spirituality, no, thank you. 18 homesteads built because one shelter hasn't yet transformed. Mm need to add a couple houses here wait a moment this house here is built incorrectly actually so I should place one here and uh, place one here but this one has to Relocate, I guess, and then the school will have to be relocated then, right? Hmm. Not sure yet how to do that. Another house. Must be placed here. Another one here. And another one here. <clears throat> that should be 24. Temple is what? Uh, temple is a thousand gold, a hundred planks, a hundred stones well that should be a, a long process but feasible one and all of the houses will be affected so let's build it why not it's going to be a long process but a good one the well the well then travels yet another time does it should it maybe no maybe let's let's keep the things as they are fertilization is ready we have to have a field 
But the problem with fields is that uh, I have to know exactly where I want it. And it's something like a very serious decision. It has to be flat land, obviously. Uh -huh. Maybe here, industrial areas, you know. But it's not uh it's not a flat land currently. And I might need some territory here. So hmm. Probably won't build um, any residential stuff here, so we can start with this one. A huge field I want. I want a huge field. Mm, maybe, maybe slightly away from the mountain. Not so close, like maybe here. <clears throat> About my gold, what's your problem? Workers are missing tools. Ah, don't care. I don't care. So we already collected some gold. All the gold must go into the trading center to the maximum draft drought no drought is here what about these our ability not enough to get to get next level yet Red catcher covers everything. That's good news. I want to prioritize the field construction. And suddenly, I've been here for three hours. While I wanted to stop at uh, one. Incredible. What a game. What a fascinating, captivating game. Two villagers immigrated. Only two. Joking. Child has grown up, so more workers for me. Eight people are ready for action, so I'm gonna send more people into the gold mine. In fact, I'm gonna make it fully packed with eight people. That means that I have barely some workers. Hunters, smokers, miners, night soil collector, rat catcher, trader, cobbler. Yeah, I don't have alternatives yet. Atcom. Aha. Uh -huh. So you buy iron ore. It's very nice of you. What can you tell? What can you sell to me, though? Well, nothing interesting. Nothing for a low price. Oh. TL Forever 262 just sub like your style. Thank you very much. It's really nice of you to say that and welcome to the channel. Um, what can I say about myself? I teach English, I play video games, and those games are usually something about building, uh, something peaceful or moderately peaceful RPGs. You can check the games. I probably shouldn't even tell that because you can always see what I'm up to there um, but yeah I'm very pleased to meet you and thank you for the nice words again now what's the problem with this homestead what ah okay the the, the desirability of the of the region of the territory is not that 
appealing. I understand what's the <clears throat> next trader has. What do you have? Soap. Oh, probably sh I probably was too hasty. So we can buy lots of herbs, lots of soap from him. <clears throat> also some belts. And uh, do you sell beer? No, you actually don't sell anything for a good price. And you're not buying smoked fish, right? But you're buying uh, tools for a nice price. <clears throat> Which I appreciate. Oh, he buys stone for six coins. You sell stone for six coins as well. But there is no point in... Uh... Mm, let's see. So I'm going to buy soap. Definitely. And stock it. I'm going to buy herbs. Um, maybe no, actually. Herbs are just such a contaminant. I'm going to buy pelts. Yes. Uh, we'll sell tools to you. Is there any point in... Yeah, there is actually. So can you sell stones to me? No, not that much. Buy in stock. Then sell. Adding some money to his purse. Now keep selling stones. Iron, I mean. Um, let's sell. What? Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. So, 8,000 gold. That's, uh, you know, that's a lot. I'm such a trader. I'm such a trader. 100 soap. Can be sold then um, multiple herbs just again a ridiculous amount of herbs how's my temple temple is uh, not so quickly constructed because they're busy with chopping down trees on the place where the temple is supposed to be. The same is true for the crop build side. I understand that. So I need a functional road. Can I please have it? Because without a functional road, I unfortunately get my gold too slowly. So please, can you finalize with it? Uh, 16 people. Yes, of course, of course, that solves a lot of my issues. So who can I now boost? Iron mine is okay. Work camp is okay. Saw pit, it's fine. Mm. Maybe a wagon shop should be... No, it's still idle. I have no idea why. So it looks like I'm good. I don't I don't need any workers anywhere for now. Oh, I see where I need workers. And I should have thought about it earlier. I mean, I actually did think about it earlier. Uh, I should not compl I should not criticize myself. I expected this any moment. So what happened is I'm I'm facing I'm facing food supply food supply problems um, goat barn chicken coop chicken coop what do I need for chicken coop 40 planks 10 10 40 worker chickens were purchased from visiting trade at the trading post chicken coop um, I mean uh, why not I'm moderately interested and uh, still I need to have somebody else like a fisherman shack 
that will be fish and where? Nah, that's uh, not very... Doesn't look like a good idea. Maybe I should have a hunter... A hunter somewhere here. Yeah. Hunter with priority, both, because if I don't want to face uh, uh, starvation, uh, famine, I have to be a bit faster. The, the field is going to take a gargantuan amount of effort. While they're working, another drink refill, the final one. Notification, damn it. More people for the village. That's good, but that means real problems with with food. But no problem. I'll catch some game now. I'll catch some game. Hopefully. <clears throat> Maybe a forager will also save the day because I have some idle hands. But not too many... Idle ma uh, have idle hands, but not enough. Too many idle hands for too many hungry mouths. That's my idea. Oh, chicken coop is ready, and another hunter is ready. So you hunter go here, and chicken coop um, grazing area. Oh wait a second, grazing area. Let it be. I don't know here. Mm, how many chickens can I put here? Maximum her 24. Whoa. Okay. Uh, well, while I have no chicken, there is no point. Building abandoned. I understand that. I understand that. No problem. How many homesteads? 20. 1, 2, 3 unupgraded 4 and 5 I wonder if it counts don't think so oh the temple is ready for construction but gold will be insufficient so it will take several more months to build the temple Low desirability. What are you talking about? What? I know. I know. What's your problem, people? What do you not like? Food. Ah, food and clothes. Ah. Capricious bastards. I'll show you. I'll show you. You wait. You just wait. Maybe I should build another hunter cabin. To hunt for deers over there ten months and the temple shall be ready don't want to touch the money in the trading post when did I become so greedy? I have no idea but apparently I have become very greedy so, where do we forage? Mm. Well, maybe um, let's forage here. 
while you while you forage mm, like here hopefully that should be enough I know stop thank you how many workers seven let's have five builders I want my farm to be up next year which probably is a very no actually I think it's possible oh this hunter is ready for action too let's hunt these deers here how about food well, lots of meat is coming but that will take some time to arrive For it to arrive, that is. And hunger is here. Hunger is here. But I think we'll handle it with hunters. I think I have at least six hunters, maybe seven. Six. And five foragers and two fishermen should be should be alright barely but all right yeah see the, the farm maybe it can be completed this year let's add builders what about my gold yeah, very slowly very slowly extracting it what about iron ore almost finished with extraction perfect which iron deposit will be opening up next maybe this one why not to decrease the amount of deposits on the map What's that? Atka. Hello, Atka. Gold and iron. But for bad price, so maybe we're not trading. Actually, we're not trading with you this year. I don't like what I see. Unless... Wait a second. Do you sell chicken? You don't. So, not interested. Yeah, they should they should finish it this year. <laughs> A new trader is approaching. Food is stockpiling. Good news. Are they collecting rocks? Yes, they are. Excellent. New trader, okay. You sell cows, which I'm not interested in. Herbs, beer, clothes. Yeah, look at these hooligans. They just refuse to be adequate this year. They're just like, we're not ready for proper business. They're saying, well, you're not ready, and I'm not going to respond to your bullshit forget about it 27 villagers graduated the field is almost completed <clears throat> temple requires um five more months of uh, money generation and then we shall be okay Work areas are empty. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's chop the trees here. The 
iron mine is ready. Uh, I'm not sure I want it to be operating right now. Let me wait for this mine to finish its operation. Am I going to get the third trader this year? Somebody who is uh, not bereft of conscience? I'm not sure. Crops ready for assignment. Yay! Uh, extension. Extension, extension. I want it to be much more huge. Much more huge. What? Invalid location. And how so? Not sure. Workers are actually... I need one farmer here to first of all clean the clean the crop field that's enough and yeah ah it's been fertilized automatically sorry I forgot that, that will happen three more months and the temple is ready Wagon shop is idle all the time, I'm not sure why. What do you mean? This field doesn't have crop seasons. What? I don't have empty crop seasons, I have workers. Okay, let's plant some clover. Mm. At the end of the year, each time. Gold, gold, gold. Still plenty of it here to extract. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Should be finishing any moment. Yeah, only one ore is remaining. Is out of ore. It's false. Ah, okay, it's not false. Alrighty then. Um, let me destroy it and uh, send all those eight people into the new ore mine what about these stones here yeah they keep being harvested it's wonderful news what uh -huh. willow willow is stockpiling that means i can add a basket shop worker and will also send 50 baskets to the to the to the market to sell them hopefully next year and temple is about to get constructed let's prioritize it too it will boost the area and i'll be able to get to level three ah and i need some clay so let's add a bit more people to clay collection out of no nowhere i get some laborers somehow i'm not sure where from they came maybe those are children maybe it's somebody else but i have no idea honestly how it works also why this building got upgraded nothing in terms of ah no i see because the temple got finished super fast uh-huh why do I need uh, preachers? I'm not sure. Let it be. And it's time to excavate. It's time to excavate. Who is there? Uh, Krini Sack. Hello. We have met before, obviously. There were only three messages. And. Uh, uh huh. You speak Russian, I see. Or some, at least. Uh, 
either Ukrainian or Belarus language. We met on the 21st of November last year, so and you already uh, you're come, you, you have come back. Do you think the game will get ill? It's still deserved when it comes out. I remember your question, actually. I remember you. Uh, I was in Belize when you first joined my channel. So thank you for coming back. It's much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing all right. Um, so, how is it? How is life? They really extract ore with a high speed, I must say. It's very nice to see. Gold mine cannot brag about the same, unfortunately. We have 1,900 iron ore pieces here. Maybe that's going to be my next location for extraction, which means it will be good to have an iron mine here functioning can i build it no i cannot okay let's um just flatten the area here a bit or well, not a bit several times i hate myself at such moments because I, i'm just creating extra uh work for my poor villagers who already are fighting against nature with uh against the odds but hey like your pronunciation um i'm ooh it's always a sensitive thing so because i teach english i try to articulate properly at the same time i'm from russia so that means that i will probably never get rid of my accent so i, I still have some accent but uh one of my students my friends uh sorry my one of my student ex student my friend now also my viewer he says that he actually likes the way i pronounce things because he can always understand what i'm saying uh and it's not about sounding like a true american or true british people or person sorry uh, but it's about proper articulation so that you are understood and uh, well his opinion i quite value in that aspect so maybe that's exactly what you mean too many english speaking people do not know how to speak in a way that's understood ah, i see okay so you're talking about exactly the same thing so i'm very happy to hear that thank you because uh years of teaching really uh motivated me to speak understandably um uh, and um yeah, and when I'm streaming, I think I'm doing the same thing automatically. So it looks like that it's going to be a good idea to buy candles from Belder for the future. But let me wait for the for the second trader. Hopefully it's going to be somebody who understands business. How many homesteads do I have? 22. Because shelter 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 mm. hmm. oh your pronunciation is just fine thank you tl forever 262 i i'm grateful for um for your kind words thank you uh, although i I'm, I'm always still a bit and uh, unsure whether maybe I actually should work on it a bit more to to not give away myself that fast <laughs> that I'm not a native speaker. But as you said, as you said, <laughs> damn it, Belder left. I failed to trade with him. I was too lost in town construction. Anyway, doesn't matter. Somebody else will come and. I, I shall trade, but I could have bought candles from him. Why was he so fast? Shame, shame, shame. Uh, okay, that will be the 25th shelter. Uh, 25th homestead 
this one shall be upgraded shortly this one hopefully too we're going to get only one trader this year that's unheard of outrageous just outrageous hmm. interesting why are they so lazy this year okay what about the crop build build site maybe they'll begin this year if they are fast enough to harvest this rock let's see aha uh -huh. flattening flattening is uh, almost complete and i have i can build this iron mine Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about iron mine here? They already extracted plenty of ore from here. Look at how much willow we possess in this little area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Flattening work done. Rocks almost... Yeah, they, I think, will begin this year. But they won't finish. They will only finish next year. Ah, what about uh, extraction of the... Aha, uh -huh, 29... 20, mm -hmm, I say. 12 laborers. Actually, that's a good number. I expected something worse after updated information where are other ruins only one cannot be there should be more let's do some reconnaissance again here and well what else where else do i want to explore lands maybe here oh it's the end of the map here I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Food is in good balance. Not overproducing, but not starving. Come on. You were so close to starting this year, and they failed. They failed. Maybe maybe I'm myself to blame. I have myself to blame because they probably were able to do that this year, but they jumped to um, explore the lands around, as I told them to do that. Okay, what about upgrading shelters? Come on, it's time you did that. Hmm. No, they won't do it. Medicinal herbs. Medicinal herbs. That's it. Uh-huh. Interesting. Not that many excava uh, ruins for excavation, sadly. Well, probably there will be some here. The... Wait. No, I don't need to explore anything here you were so close people you were so freaking close villagers have finished excavating the an ancient ruin Food spoils 25% slower. Eternal Eyes of Amatok, one of the best possible artifacts to have in the game. Wow. Wow. That's what we call luck, I guess. Let me make... Let me send more pelts for sale, more shoes for sale. I'm not sure about soap. Definitely sure about herbs. 
they're still in some inexcusable amounts, some uh, hide coats, some pottery. It won't hurt to sell. It's the third time my headphones are malfunctioning today. It's unacceptable. Uh, tannery, let's add. A th what? Huh? Um, I mean, yes. Commuting. I was told that. Ah, that's traveled. I was told by my student about. I see. So, what's the pro problem? Why do I have to manually pick workers? What's the. Actually, I don't need a worker here because. It looks like firewood is sufficient, but still. Okay, crop field will be started next year and probably will be finished next year. And then I'll expand it once again, which has to be an enormous task. But I'm fine with that. So another excavation site. No, not yet. Not yet, they haven't located anything. Maybe something here. Let me look for... things here. Weird. That means I'll have to buy lots of relics, which is fine. Money is never an an issue in the mid game even so I'm totally fine with that yeah here we go lots of people will be sent to work on the field zero laborers zero laborers I only need one worker thank you estimated yield I can produce clover actually okay This labor camp is seemingly struggling with being effective or, well, effective and efficient simultaneously. So probably means that has to be relocated. Well, maybe when they chop down all the trees in this dis district, I'll relocate them, but not now. I've accumulated some nice amount of gold. But I'm not yet ready to build an apothecary because um, apothecary eats how many? 30 coins, I forgot, or 25? 25. 25. I, I can, but I won't. I need those coins. Hello, Scorv the Butcher. Hmm. Or. Antlers of the Great Spirit. More meat. Well, thank you, but thank you. Um, let's sell the two tools. And let's wait for another one. For another trader. Again. Let's not be hasty. Scorf, do you sell chicken? Who sells chicken in this damn world? What's your problem? Nobody seems to have chicken. Hmm. Thirty three days, okay. I'll have time to compare. Their income. Oh, oh, these iron mines shouldn't have been working all this time. One was enough. Atka, hello. You don't sell chicken, I don't think so, right? Uh, yeah, you don't. What's this? 
Blacksmith and armories work faster, no thanks. You buy gold for a terrible price. You buy pelts for a decent price. I might be interested. Can you sell to me something? Swords. And you buy swords for 70. And that's a terrible price. Hmm. Hmm. Hoberg's is not a very popular um, thing to trade. How much money can I make through pelts? Uh -huh. Okay. So, what do we do with you then? Crude weapons. Yeah, let's sell the tools to him and uh, off with you. And let's wait for a potential third trader. I have 70 days to wait, so chances there are chances that he will come. Uh, do I not have 25? Yes, I do. I have 25 home stats, but <laughs> population is not enough. I forgot that population has to match the... Mm, has to match the necessary value. And I'm far from that. I'm 40 people far from that. It's quite a lot. Where do I want to expand my town? I mean, how? Oh, <laughs> okay. That answers my question, partly. So... Mm. One, two, three. Are these within? Yes, they are within the within the boundaries. Two, three, four, five. Five, six, one, two. Huh? What's the matter? Wait a moment. Oh. Decorations may help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, decorations will. Help is just I have my own um, system of how I place houses, so it creates some extra consideration, you know. <laughs> House is here, then now the plaza here. Mm, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build for now. But I'm not sure yet. Misclicked. I'm not sure yet whether whether I'm building correctly. So let's start with plenty of plaza, and then a healer's house will be located here. That will eat a lot of my gold, a lot of my stones. Thankfully, I have plenty of both.
and uh, um, oh, here we go. Ender Plains Rider, is anyone going to sell chicken to me or not? My building is waiting. Oh, no, no, sorry. False alarm. So. Swords. Do you buy swords by any chance? No, you buy crossbows and iron. Do you sell iron? Not this time. Mm. Hoberg's same thing. Beer? No. Uh, belts for 10 coins and you buy for 10 coins as well. Stones. What's wrong with you? This here. What can I sell to you? I don't know. Well, nothing much. So I have to trade with Atka for all the, not all the, but the pallets I have. Earn 2000 and then sell. I'm going to buy hide coats from him and stock them, but. Maybe I should sell some pottery to him to compensate for the loss. Yeah, that's it for this year. Nothing more. The healer's house has to be halted for now. Not the most important building. At this stage, that is. Draw out again. Ah, oh, the crop field is almost ready, almost, and I can expand it. Hmm. What? Over max greed count? For real? Okay. Um. Then. Then I'm gonna build a, a similar one just next to it hey clay pit you are ruining my fun do you know that hmm. maybe i should have something in between them like apiaries you know yeah Shouldn't be greedy. I already have a huge crop field. It's enough for now. Clay pit has 3,000 uh -huh, and a half clay. How many people do I have at my disposal? Not enough. So I have to wait for the ore mines to be depleted. And then I'll send full into the clay pits and uh, pottery making will capitalize on that hmm. I need more free hands ah oh wait a moment free hands my ass all the farmers went to the fields I don't need that many farmers so all people, all people go into industry, potters, potters, and what potters need? They need some firewood and some water, and they have it. Uh, we also have to extract uh, iron. That leaves me with seven people. That's all right. That's all right. What? Why? Why so slow? You kidding me? Well, I have questions. Wait a wait a moment. How could they mine? Um. Ah no, everything is correct. Okay, then I cannot relocate it. Also. Tools. 
tools. Tools. Well, it's 5,000 gold after all. It's a lot. Maybe it's supposed to be slow. Not like iron. Uh huh. Only stones are left, so. Let me enable the construction, bring the clay and planks and gold here. And then I'll just halt it before it's finished because I don't want to lose my monthly income and people can get can recover without the apothecary for now, without the healer, I mean. I, again, don't see my cursor in this blizzard. Oh, look, if I move my camera fast, I get to locations where blizzard is not raging. This rock is still here because I keep distracting people from their harvesting duty Some places are potentially level 3 buildings already. That's impressive. Uh, don't tell me I need another house. Oh no. Another. Yeah, I need one more house. Where could that be? Mm, well, logically, house should be here then, right? It doesn't prevent any access to the others, so decorations. Um, doo -doo -doo. Wait a moment. Something is wrong here. Or is it? This house is going to be within the range. The ah, this house doesn't have. That's what's wrong. No, cancel it. That's what's wrong. This house has lost access to the road. This one has to be relocated then to there. And another house can be constructed, for example, well, here, which is going to be within the limit, right? Barely if I understand barely or maybe not even within no it should be within the within the reach or oh, is that so mm. well it's uh, temporary I'll what the hell is this Oh, terrible. Just terrible. I'll need to sort this out. And it looks like I still... Oh no, this shelter will be upgraded. And this one will be upgraded. So I'll get to 150 potential slots in the village. So it shall be fine. I can sell ore this year. 
and please tell me I can buy something. Yes, I can buy tools. All of the tools and for a very low price. Can also, what's that? Blacksmiths, no, thank you. <clears throat> I can sell all the ore and it starts getting transported. Starts getting to get transported, yes. If I had had if I had bought candles then, remember three years ago I missed the chance to buy candles, I would have them now and that would be also quite amazing. Chickens! Chickens! But what will I sell instead uh, in exchange for chickens? Chickens should be like, let me buy, I don't know, like five? Uh, yeah, how uh, birth rate zero per year zero okay let's buy five more do they like ah of course uh i didn't have workers there so now four per year okay ten chickens should be enough uh do they provide eggs they probably will provide me eggs, right? So I'll check on that later, how many eggs they give me. Now, Adcom, you are here for 20 days more. I need to be very careful with what she can also give me. I don't think anyone buys flour. Don't remember that. Although she buys beer, you don't sell beer, you sell pottery, but you already snatched a lot of my big amount of my money uh tools for 38 coins i don't know uh i don't know it's kind of don't remember how much i paid for tools here but not uh, so it wasn't 20 it was 30 -ish something so let me sell boots to her another thousand mm. should i buy heavy tools no i should wait for lower price because it can be the the margin could be really incredible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so is that flax crops produce 50% more yield no thank you no thank you let's sell more ore to her mm-hmm 42 days maybe somebody else will arrive so what's that livestock health factors need winter stock okay they will get it why fodder bonus is that low under sounds a third trader this year by any chance no this one is Atka, right? Leaving my town. And the third one is nowhere to be seen, sadly. I don't want to sell tools for the slow. Same for baskets, I'll wait for bat a year. My resources won't run away. Five thousand iron ore, a thousand excavated ruins. Remove it, or no, of course, I'm not going to remove this ancient construction. Why would I do that? Hmm. 15 laborers. Maybe I can send uh, 
five people to cultivate the field after all why not what's the status of this one huh? Let's see so basically what's gonna happen now I cannot see this monstrosity what have I done oh looks so horrible what is this why how what was i thinking it's absolutely insane i have to relocate all this plaza somewhere else and rectify my mistakes how did i even not notice what was happening so um like One goes here, another one goes here. Okay, we have to wait. Oh, healer's house is working now. I don't remember asking you to do that, actually. So please give me back my gold. This poor shelter doesn't get supply of food. That's why it's not promoted. you uh -huh. this medium plaza has to be put somewhere differently somewhere different i'm sorry um hey no 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 wait a second you relocate to here Uh-huh. Poor little house. Is it possible to play the game on normal speed? I mean, it feels so slow even with triple speed. Winter stock. Um, maybe it's clover. Can I feed them on clover? Or alternatively, maybe I can give them uh what's that hey animals impact fertility minus two oh can i use peas feed for animals such as chickens, cows, goats and horses. Never plant peas. Well, I usually switch from peas indeed after some time, but what about clover? Can it be replenished so soil per fertility and that's all? So I guess I have to... Why, why bad? Peas or actually increase fertility by 1%. So they can be used as a as an intermediary option when you want to avoid um, 
degradation of your field, I think. So it's not that bad. Ah, hey, it looks like I'll have to grow hay next year for my chickens. Well, fine. Let it be. Let it be. Maybe they'll get some. I don't. It looks like they don't feed on clover. Otherwise, they would have received some at the end of the year, which did not happen. Dear Shelter, are you freaking going to improve or not? What the hell? Please. Have some common sense. And we have to keep exploring the land because I'm interested in finding more ruins and I seem to... to haven't fi found anything yet besides that one lonely ruin that gave me a precious artifact, I'll give it that, so nothing to complain, to be honest. So what do we have here? Some kind of a bog, it looks like. Mm. Corner of the map. Let's keep on exploring later. Two children have grown up. Feed stores 40. Population 10. The chicken will be born after the second month, right? Like any animals, I think they will be born. 130 eggs. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. <laughs> sweet sweet chicken uh 14 chicken now yeah we are planting uh hay what about my compost yard uh-huh next year i shall have my fertilization Atka has arrived. Oh, look at how much pottery I have produced. Let's sell it urgently. Mm -hmm. Can buy more tools. Let's uh, stop. Let's stop stocking uh, stones for now as. Uh, we have to focus on the pottery. We only have 39 days to do that. 37 already. I hope they stop that. That just bring the pottery to the to the trading post. Stones, iron. Well, I have to buy tools. That's just hands down the best thing I can do now. Um. Pottery, pot yeah, they are bringing pottery, thankfully, they are. Let's sell all the stones. And um, let's buy all the pelts. What else can be purchased? Maybe I have to buy these antlers after all, too. I hear a bit barley is best for chickens. Barley? You mean barley in real life? Uh, or do they have bar? They don't have barley, right? In the game, I don't think so. Uh, maybe they have added something. Barley. Crop. Uh... No, we don't have barley. So it's, you mean in real life? Pearl barley? Or what kind of grain exactly? Mm, what should I buy from him? Maybe antlers, but what can I sell instead? Uh-huh. Okay, hopefully we should be quick enough to... Yeah, I'm gonna buy the relic. 
Why? Because I want to create uh -huh. to create more meat. More meat means more food. That means more efficiency of my hunters, and I don't. I won't need to build more at this point. So we transported all the pottery from the storage, and we can successfully sell it, returning some money. Returning some money. Let's get back to selling iron ore. Do you have something that I can sell to her? Uh, honey? No. Honey. Beer? No. Soap? Also no. How much soap do I have, by the way? Mm -hmm. Can be transported. My bad must be in real life. <laughs> Well, that's alright. Oh, I can sell more uh, herbs and look at how well we dealt with uh, herbs. Thirty-two days. Ah, you still have herbs. Okay, no problem. No problem. Mm, yeah. I earned some and I made a huge stock of tools which can generate a lot of money for me in the future but I'm not going to sell tools for 39 coins that's not why I bought them in the first place so so how much am I going to produce Crops lost to rot, 1,200, well, I don't care, chickens don't need that much anyway, so I'm fine with that. I need to relocate all these all these plaza units somewhere because because currently they are only making me distracted And surely I don't want to destroy them, as that will plummet. The the desirability of the area will plummet. Will this shelter get the second type of food? Damn it. What's what's the problem? And I mean, even if it does, it changes nothing because because actually um, I still have not enough people for next tier three so how i got fodder 56 hay for what really i produced 1000 what am i what am i gonna do with this hay 900 i mean are you serious ah uh, okay maybe i have to build a barn and know how do i have people for barn yeah I do. Let's build a barn and uh, and uh, I don't know goats also. One barn and uh, goats too. So just to take advantage of that hay that we have accumulated. It will be a shame if it's lost. So, please give them priority, my fine townsfolk. Crop field. 47% uh, fertility. So, still terrible. 
rockiness is 18%. Can I grow two clovers per year? Yes, I can. And that's exactly what I'm going to do because rockiness and weed level are already low, whereas uh, the fertility desires better. Clover increases it by 3% per year, so we have low way to go. What's your problem, people? Clothes and food. Food? Don't talk rubbish to me. Building doesn't have... Ah, fine. Have your healer. Now are you happy? I think so. I can afford it now. Mm -hmm. I don't like what I see with firewood. Probably has something to do with how much... Um, how much... How many logs are harvested per year? It breaks to upgrade. Okay, I think I'll build another work camp. Um... here oh, we send some workers building is on fire and mine is out of war am i to understand that you have depleted everything yes you have good job people good job iron ore do they have to keep these icons here like i th i'm doing this partly because i'm hoping to get rid of extra icons on the map because they contaminate the um, the map my view but instead they keep them there they're just gray gray and non-interactable I mean of course they nothing can be harvested out of there let me check out what is hidden here oh my god the map is actually Pretty much uh, stretching much much further. So what about my barn? My barn is ready. Grazing should be well. Let's have it uh, here and goats will be what? I'm oh, sorry. Will be grazing uh, here. workers i think two workers are enough for now i don't have any i don't have any well in fact i don't need any workers because because they cannot put any order inside the storage yet why is the game glitching uh can you please oh sorry can you please only collect um trees yeah i still have workers still have workers what you run out of things th of things to chop chop these why are we dropping fps because of the lightning again i presume okay this ore deposit will take time to deplete but at some point it it undoubtedly will okay who are you mm. oh cows that cost a fortune forget about them but goats are very cheap so i'm gonna buy 10 10 goats um Maybe two cows. But I have nothing to sell to him. What a prick. What a prick. I could sell to him. Uh, 
think two two cows should be Why do they not promise me any uh, excuse me? Where are my goats? Aha, uh -huh. a glitch. It was a glitch. Maximum 10. Oh, I bought my... Ah. So, I shouldn't have bought 10 goats. I was attracted by the price. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, this man grabbed a lot of my money. What can I... Please tell me you can sell me something I can sell to him. Oh, beer. Beer I will. Buy in stock. Now sell. Yeah. That gives me back some of my money. What else? Candles and iron and bricks. Do you sell candles, iron or bricks? No, you don't. No, you don't. What's that? No, thank you. You buy pelts and hide coats. Okay. And you... Mm, no. 10, 18. 10, 20. No, it's not a good idea. Let's sell these. Let's sell... Okay, I'm back to a good financial situation. Perfect. But the game is glitching. Population, birth rate, zero per year. Seriously? Zero per year, can you imagine that? Maybe at least one? I mean, come on. Do you need more workers? What's the, what's the problem? Okay. So... Too many pelts. If I have too many pelts, that means I can add a tenor, right? And I can add a cobbler. And some pelts can be sent to the market for future trading and some hide codes as well. In fact, as well as uh, baskets too can be sold. Pottery is being produced rapidly. What's my situation with the clay pit? Look, it's been drained pretty finely already. I probably should construct a road leading to this clay pit and that should increase the efficiency of the pro process a bit. This man? has been ill for ages. Are you glitched, my man? To be honest, I want to destroy this house because it looks like it, it will never get boosted and something is badly wrong with it. I, I, I'll build a new one. Hopefully it will get uh, upgraded faster than its predecessor. <sighs> mm, yeah. 
Let's see what goes on. Gold mine. Mm -hmm. 2000. Two, 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 two. Haven't found any. Oh, of course, if you're hunting. You're hunting your citizens. Maybe you will not find any any deers. Well, probably should be hunting them somewhere else. For instance, uh, well, here apparently there are plenty of animals. Yeah. Whoa. What? Ah, I see. The final flag. Six people have arrived. Of course, of course. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the club of survivors. Have I found any more ruins? Doesn't look like that. Okay. Understood. Now that ill person is in a different place. Hador. Hador. Can you go home? I don't know. Yeah. Now a different person will be working here. Because I think Hador has been glitched for a long time. This shelter hopefully will now be supplied with two types of food. And everything shall be all right. Oh, Hader has arrived at the at the doctor. So the conclusion is yes, he was glitched. Now about the wagon shop. Ooh, I think we can send another person into action to help with the process. Mm -hmm. Food is not that much, by the way, but I think that will be remediated shortly. Fertility has increased by 6%, I think. What about uh, compost year next year or the year after next we shall get an improvement? What if I add six people? Now that doesn't change birth rate. So how many chickens do I have? Twenty. Twenty. So next year will be maximum. And they'll start generating uh, meat instead. 3 o'clock in the morning, I've been streaming for four, 4 hours 18 minutes, incredible, and I wanted to go to sleep, not to go to sleep, but to go to rest 3 hours 18 minutes ago, can you imagine, because I felt bad, but now I'm, well, I'm not fresh, no, it's not true, but I'm, uh, I've definitely survived for longer than I thought, which is a nice thing. Situation would be better if if I didn't have this uh, freezing. So, but we shall be, I think, finishing somewhere uh, in the future, in the close future. I, I don't think I'll reach tier three today, unfortunately. But at least this shelter can get some betterment. No, not sure. So, clay deposit, pottery, pottery. Look how much tallow I got. Tallow. Tallow is used for soap, right? Soap. Yeah, so let's make more soap. And I think that means that we should add another firewood splitter because I might run into its shortage this year if I don't take measures. 
Also, do I need more smoke houses? Yes. Yes, I do. Because I have a lot of... A lot of... A lot of raw meat. Although I like a lot of... A lot of raw meat. A lot of low meat. How's that? A lot of low meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Workers are missing tools. No. You're not getting tools. Forget about it. Let me maybe add more workers, like 10 people, to make the field a bit more... Okay, okay. Seven. Seven is good. Seven is good. Who is there? Atka, hello. Mm. Mm -hmm. Still buy gold for a low price, but iron ore is for a good price, and the rest is just terrible so I'm only selling ore to her and that's it that's all you'll get from me maybe I should buy coal for the future but not that interested but I mean look at this eight coins for gold Are you kidding me and I think I still think they have to add more workers to the trading post because it's just ridiculous how much time it gets to stock uh, heavy items. Maybe it was the creator's point, like you should not capitalize on heavy things like uh, like mineral deposits. Maybe, maybe if that's the case, well, clever, clever. This damn house is plaguing me. Second trader, who are you? Oh, tools. Mm -hmm. What's that? Attack damage, no thank you. So I can buy pelts from him. <clears throat> Candles he doesn't sell. So Atka can just go. Let's buy pelts. Stock them. And sell tools. Uh, 46 coins. In comparison to 56. You see the maximum price is actually above 50. Above 50. While sometimes they offer 36 and that's like moderate price. So fluctuations are quite, well, considerable. Cannot ignore that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More pouts to the market. More pottery to the market, more soap to the market, more baskets to the market. You know, hopefully they can catch up with the pace. They work in night and day. I think these are the most hardworking people in my colony, in my town. Um, traders. Traders. We are responsible for the well-being of the the whole place so no surprise it's like that no they're catching up actually stricken with worms mm. oh the house is finally being upgraded incredible i thought i would never leave until that moment we have some hay and we'll get resupply of hay next year fertility is rising Rising not as fast as I would wish it to, but fast. Maybe I should build another... Again, I won't be able to relocate it, so I shouldn't be too fast with 
create in a new field. Maybe I'll want it somewhere else. What's burning there? Ah, the flames at the temple. <sighs> a new cow was not born. Yeah, maximum is 150, so we just need to wait until we get another 15 villagers into our place. So what might they be missing? A festival pole. Is that what you want? Uh, I can give it to you, you hungry pricks. If that attracts people into the into the village, into the town. How many people have I lost so far? Three. Only three. That's nothing. That's just nothing. Look how much willow we have here. It's just insane. It's just insane. <laughs> to be honest, I have to start deleting Hawthorn from the map. You know my policy. The less rubbish on the map, the better. These um, Hawthorn bushes are pretty much useless, not replantable, mushroom cluster, willow bushes. Have hawthorn here? Yeah, let's just delete it. Oh, strange. Sometimes hawthorn can be, sorry, should be deleted manually. Sometimes it just disappears like it is now. I don't know how it works, to be honest. Oh, of course, that makes my task much more... Well, much faster. Don't have to wait for the villagers to come and clean up. But still, I think it's a bug. I think they did not expect this to happen and they would frown at my actions now that by them i mean uh, the creators of the game uh, -pum -pum. more hawthorn here we go interesting hazelnut bushes are not that uh, plentiful anymore uh, at least i don't see many of them on the on the map. Again, Hawthorn. Here we go, here we go. Mm. Tiny actions to clean up, but still, again, Hawthorn. And not much blueberry on the map, see? Maybe it's for the better. I won't spend ages replanting uh, it from one place to another. Other, uh, on the other hand, I'm sure I'll find... Well, at least I saw one bush so far. And uh, I'll find more. Undoubtedly. But again... Mostly it's Hawthorn, really. Quite surprising. Yeah, even like river areas where blueberry normally grows is just Hawthorn.
I want to think that it makes the game faster. I do want to think like that. So, literally one blueberry bush, two. Let me try and replant them if I manage. Because there is a chance that they are too deep in water and they are untouchable. Um, if that's so, shame. Like almost the only blueberry I have on the map. Probably there'll be somewhere, some more, not now. So, 37, 137, 38, 12 people to go. No, both bushes were plantable. I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Maypole has been constructed. Maybe somebody will want to migrate to my village now. Immigrants, no. Knock knock, who is there? Atka. Buying iron ore this time. Buying gold for a not so bad price. Selling tools for how much? For an extremely, extremely low price. So, Atka, I have to compensate what I lose trading with you this time, this year. So, I'm buying this and uh, that, and I'm selling this and that to you. Wait a moment, maybe somebody will arrive and give me something better to trade with her. Although, what? Uh, Everything else is super cheap, so let me sell pelts to her also. And uh, replenish those to 200. Stones maybe I should buy from her, but I can, I can collect those if I need. Here comes another trader. Let's see what the options are. Baskets. Pottery, candles, bricks, iron, no, no, no. Oh, let me buy... Can I sell anything to you in the meantime? Yes, I can sell baskets. So I'm going to buy one cow. Does that increase... Oh, yeah, that increases population per one unit each year. And I'm going to sell baskets to you, returning... Okay, I'm going to buy one more cow from you, only one. And instead, uh, not instead, for that I'll sell you all the baskets I possess. Goats I don't need. Yeah. So I have five cows. Birth rate uh, will be one per year. What's wrong? Uh-huh. Storage is full. Time to build a new one. Yeah, no problem. Let's do that. And food, the same. Well, if you put herbs here, please don't do that. No need to do that. Hey, uh, well, I understand. Just don't put money here. Ah, where else can I put money if not here, right? Stupid me. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I should put money and arrows and bows into the wheel cart. Uh, can I keep money here? I cannot. Okay. I can keep arrows and bows, but not coins. Mm, maybe hay. I will keep hay here. Uh, and coins I'll keep here.
but not here. The same for herbs, the same for medicinal roots. In fact, no raw materials will be kept here. Uh, raw materials will be kept in the cart. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That should manage my resources just finely. Hopefully hay is not going to rot there too fast. <laughs> it's, it's full already. Okay, then maybe herbs have to be put uh, back to the storehouse. Medicinal roots too. And willow. Okay, 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 I see. I see. Raw materials except for hay. And arrows. And that's all. Alright, 11 people to go until I can upgrade. Animals have food for this year. Um, headphones go crazy for the fourth time during the stream. It's uh, it's disgusting. Gold mine is super slow. Iron mine is thankfully providing me with something. What are these? Oh, thorn bushes. Wow, how have I not noticed you? And again, Hawthorne. Huh. Strange. They are not blooming and I didn't spot them. Uh, which work areas? Aha, uh -huh. you have chopped all the trees again. Mm -hmm. Firewood is plentiful. Which is strange. I thought I would be... Well, after winter. I need to see what happens after winter. And I suspect nothing good. Uh-huh. Pot, uh, yeah, pottery and more soap have been produced. Let's transfer those to the trading center. Hide coats. Uh, belts. Mm -hmm. Also these. Herbs have to be sold. Not bad. Not bad. I would say quite easy, in fact. 141 people. Nine to go. What's that symbol? Ah, no bow to wield. Poor hunter, what's that? Hawthorne again. How did you manage to escape my attention? So close. <laughs> How many people do I have? 21. Gatherer, I probably want to harvest rocks while there are plenty of idle people. Because why not? Yeah, look how many. And again, they just came back because it's too late. Uh, it's too cold right there. Afraid of winter. Ah, okay. Quite a lot of eggs per year. That's nice to see. Half past three a.m. Not bad. 
my lo my voice is almost lost. But I feel great. Better than at the end of the stream. Quite surprisingly, for an or I was 40 minutes. I don't know. I mean, how time flies in this game. It's crazy. So I do have a lot of firewood, but calibration I think I'll do at the end of, uh, at the beginning of next stream, not now. Clay, what about clay? Half the mine almost has been depleted, it's good news. Two new villagers born. Six to go till next level. Got a lot of food, by the way. 57 fertility. It takes time to... To make it fertile enough. Uh, what do you sell? Candles. I'm buying all the candles you have. Bricks. Time to start buying bricks. While I have money buy and transfer them to the town sell all the soap I possess all the hide coats because I need to bring back my my money and maybe maybe I will have enough time to transfer shoes to sell because I want to get some more coins back have 30 days to do that twenty days but I think they're coming okay we can buy more tools and again for a good price for I would say an amazing price was that mm, no damage I'm not interested pottery and gold okay fine enough let me sell shoes and soap do you sell soap at no you don't okay let's sell all the pottery let's sell all the gold So I still managed to have some money. What are they not able to produce uh, to store food? I understand. Aha. Uh -huh. Stockyard can be upgraded because I have bricks. Because I have bricks now. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not going to 
going to decide it now. I'm going to save here. Our April town is saved. Hmm. Year 20. Let's quit the game and I'm going to thank everyone who has joined today. So on Twitch, that was Illusion, Mr. Marvelous 92, Tajni, and uh, Krinisak. And uh, on YouTube, again, Mr. Marvelous, who later migrated to Twitch, TL Forever 262. And that's it. So, um, of course, those who have been listening to me silently, thanks to you as well. I really appreciate. Um, no, hello to Good Game, by the way. I see Micah stopped streaming and was has been restreaming me. So, hello to you guys. And uh, Misha to you if you're watching, but I don't think so. It's too late. Or not too late, I don't know. So, anyway, I mean... Thank you all. I shall be back. Cannot tell you exactly when because I have some social responsibilities to attend to tomorrow and on Tuesday probably. But I'll try my best to go live whenever I can because I'm massively interested. You can see that, well, my last Sims 3 streams were like two hours. An hour and a half, two hours and a half, three hours, but this Father's Frontier is almost five hours while I was actually quite exhausted at the beginning. So, at the beginning of the stream, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> well, I am not married, but I do have a girlfriend. Yes, uh, that probably will be Tuesday. And tomorrow I have a relative to meet, uh, which was long requested. So, I would say happy family happy and healthy family in a different city as uh, i think it was bernard show or some other british uh, writer who said that i don't remember maybe oscar wilde i'm, I'm not sure so thank you all people uh, hello to those who see the recording mm. uh, father's frontier used to collect a bigger audience that i'm than i'm used to so hopefully that will happen again thanks and uh, take care Cheers.